Oh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Spiffing Brit, and today you join me playing some wonderful RimWorld, ladies and gentlemen. I know, I'll just turn down that jazz just a little bit. How are we doing all tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Are we having an absolutely wonderful time? I certainly know I am. My goodness, it's absolutely wonderful to have you guys here. Hope you're having fun. You have no tea? Go collect your tea. What are you doing? Who's saying coffee in the chat? Right, we can legally ban that person. That's perfectly fine. They could be banned. Phew, that's illegal. You can't say that here. You'll get fined by the Queen. Hello there, I'm going for a walk. Nice to have you in the chat. Lovely channel member, my good friends. Tea is empty. Collect more tea. My goodness, yes. Collect more tea then. What's happening there? Yeah, those classic Daves. Someone has gin and tonic. Who's that? Multi winner, multi winner. I was just drinking a gin and to tonic. Speaking of which, I was just going to go, "Where's my gin and tonic?" And I re realised I have actually drunk it. Oh goodness! Oh no! <laughs> the gin it goes down so easily. Ah, uh, it is such a lovely beverage. Anyway, let's move over to our. Should we move over to our live screen? Are we are we ready for this? My admins are getting angry because I gave them no warning that I'd be streaming tonight. I know, but here we are. Sometimes you're just gonna. Roll with it, you know? My unpaid workers. Oh, God, I love my moderators. They're great fun. Right, we're going to uh, switch on over to our live stream now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready for this. So just before we start, I'd like to basically go over a few rules of what we're doing here today. Uh, basically, we are going to be playing the wonderful game that is RimWorld, as you can see. Now, RimWorld is absolutely lovely. Genuinely, it's a phenomenal game. And in this game, we have a beautiful colony set up. We have our colon we have our colonists Dapper. Oh my goodness. He's a male, and what does he do? He's our melee specialist and also our researcher. Very good. We also have Big Dave, who's uh, one of our greatest fighters. Oh thank you very much. Thank you for your very kind and generous donation there. Uh Deb Heed. Uh, is our grower. He's our Irish uh, grower. He also steals all the armor and drinks a lot of tea. Then we have Chase, who I guess is one of our crafters and intellectuals. Right now, he's actually carrying and drinking some tea, if you can believe it. Look at that. I'm so proud. Oh, David is back. Hey, mate, it's lovely to have you back, my friend. Oh, and your generous 10 euros from, of course, your Irish potato fund. Uh, then we, of course, have Mark, our ridiculously chunky doctor. Like, this guy is an absolute unit. You've got to love Mark. Um, and finally, Stat Dog. Now, all of these people in our game, they are, of course, uh, lovely, generous donators, including our wonderful voluntary worker over here, A. Lambert, who is a um, prisoner who is set to work uh, in the rice fields, basically. <laughs> and just growing rice for us. Good Lord. Oh, right. That's a salute right there. Thank you very much. Lovely to have a new channel member on board. Thank you very much, kind sausage. So, the idea of today's game is we basically uh, just want to locate lovely people across the countryside. We find them, uh, we, I guess, abduct them, we tease them into the group, and yeah, it kind of just goes from there. It's a completely mental time, generally. It is absolutely crazy. So, yeah, we're just going to be finding some nice, lovely friends across the countryside abducting them, hitting them over the head with wooden clubs, and, you know, bringing them back into our lovely, lovely, comfy environment. And they're going to have a great time. How's my day? My day's doing good, chat. My day is having is doing really well. Do you know how long you're going to stream for? Probably about two and a half hours. That's normally how long I go for. Someone wants to be banned for drinking tea. Yeah, you deserve to be. If you ban me, I will spam we love coffee in the chat. That's not how it works. If you're banned, you can't, you can't use the chat. Um, how's my day? Better television? My day, my friend, has been going good. I've been doing some recording. Uh, I tried to do a Anno 1404 video. It didn't particularly work out, so uh, don't worry, that won't be coming along. Uh, but I did do quite well on a Kenchi video, so that's probably going to be coming. Oh, what's this? Ambrosia sprout. Right. We've discovered a ton of random ambrosias. Now, these are drugs, so uh, we should probably stay away from them. Uh, we want our colonists to be drinking tea, not doing drugs. That's a bad idea. So yeah, we're having a lovely time at the moment. Is this on Twitch? Uh, I don't use Twitch, I'm afraid. 
But uh, yeah, it, it's very much not on Twitch. Twitch just doesn't agree with me. They offered me partnership, but I can't really be a Twitch partner because they wouldn't want me to stream on YouTube, and I just enjoy streaming on YouTube. Besides, it's where my tea drinking belongs. How much tea do we have? Uh, we've got a lot of tea leaves here. When it comes to actual tea, we have all of this here. So we have 223 cups of tea we can see here on the left. That's not bad at all, really. That's a lot of tea. Death to Twitch. Exactly, Chad Roberts. Death to Twitch, indeed. How much for you to be a survivor? Mate, that is more than enough to be a survivor. If you donate, I'll add you to the list. And when we abduct people or just, I don't know, tame an animal, you'll get named. So we have our dog over here, some newbie. Uh, we have a some muffler, we have a massive muffler called a Kona, and we did try and tame a Frumbo. The taming of the Frumbo didn't go so well. Uh, the Frumbo was shot to death. Oh, Carlos Rodriguez, thank you very much for becoming a channel sponsor. Lovely sausage. I really need to give you guys some new saucy emotes, because there are tons that I have lined up. Oh, and just immediately we get another one. That's how this works. Every time this happens, I'm genuinely saluting. There's just something about this song. Oh, it just makes me makes me so proud. So proud. Right. One thing we are going to need to build is a crafting table, actually. Uh, so I'm going to try and find a place to drop that down. Um, do we even actually have one? No, we have a basic crafting spot, though. Don't know if that will work. Oh, glad. I'm glad you approve of this tea enforcement. Very good. Uh, so here we can make clubs and knives, so that's not really what I'm, I'm looking to make. Uh, a few of the things that I want to try and basically make are uh, a new mod that I've got installed, basically. I thought it would add quite well to our lovely little game. Basically, uh, it's a mod... Oh, what tea should you make? Uh, Yorkshire tea, English breakfast tea. English breakfast tea, best tea. Mwah. So yeah, I installed a mod which basically added non-lethal weaponry to the game. So, like massive net guns... Uh, that can slow enemies down, tasers which can knock enemies out but also give them permanent brain damage, uh, and I think a cattle prod is also one of the weapons. So yeah, we're going to be trying to manufacture a few of those bad boys. Whoa, whoa, we didn't steal the tea from China. The Chinese gave it to us voluntarily after we pointed guns at them. That's exactly how it worked. Voluntarily. Can't believe you guys, can't believe you just choose to forget how voluntary it all was. Devastated. Absolutely devastated. But yes, as I just noticed, we have researched microelectronics, which means we can whack down... Where is it? Uh, somewhere around here. It's not ship. Is it furniture? No. Goodness. I'm enjoying this jazz. If you didn't know, jazz for me is just is phenomenal. Here we go, comms console. So we want to whack this bad boy down. Um, I guess here we'll do, that's fine. We'll need a few more components, but that's okay. And we want to place down an orbital trade beacon in this lovely little storage facility here, because this is where we keep all our tea. And we want to basically sell tea. I don't really mind about selling anything else. We probably should, so there we go. But certainly selling the tea is the most important thing we can do. There we go. If we're not selling tea, then I mean, come on, what are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? What are we doing? It would be devastating. It's all about the tea. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're hyped for tonight's glorious tea sailing and slave procuring and work enforcement, then feel free to sit back, relax. You can give this stream a like. We're going to dive right into this sauciness. Ah, oh, right. So let's first speed up the game. Now, um, we are probably overdue a raid. The AI are going to send a few raids our direction, I imagine. And when that happens, we're just going to have to fight them off. Do we have any offensive technology? Well, um, we have sandbags, if that counts. Something tells me it doesn't, so uh, that's a bit of a failure. But we have got sandbags. Uh, I'm guessing we should probably actually start researching something like, I don't know, gun turrets. Oh, Danny Hoodlum, thank you very much for becoming a member. You saucy, lovely bugger. Oh, how kind of you. Thank you very much. Uh, so yes, we will research smithing to learn all about how to do smithing. And then hopefully we can eventually get our way down to machining. And then gun smithing. And then eventually gun turrets. And then we can, you know, get an actual proper base and defense setup. <gasps> you want to be a slave to the British Empire? Oh, now that would be lovely. Jesse Smith, I'll take you as a slave to the British Empire. 
I'll take you any day of the week. Derpy Spiker, nice to have you here. Uh, thanks for moderating the chat and banning people. Very proud of you. He's very nice. Very nice. Oh. Here, here are some other things we can research in the vegetable garden. We don't really want to do any of those. A bit too overly complex for us at the moment. So yeah, we're just going to sit back, relax. As you can see, we've got a nice little colony set up. We have our prisoner barracks over here. And our prisoner barracks is actually very impressive. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carlos. Yeah, we'll get some more tea going. At the moment, it's just all about trying to grow the tea. But as you can see, check out this incredible bedroom we've got sorted. It's very impressive. Uh, it's 93. So our prisoner here, A. Lambert, even though we did remove their kidney and lung, they're actually quite happy to be here. I mean, other than the fact that they hate most of the people in the colony, uh, they are actually not too unhappy. You see their mood? Quite good. They're feeling rather happy. They're content with being here. Even though they are sleeping in the cold, have terrible apparel. You know, it's going well. Oh no, blight. A blight on some of our crops. No. 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 It's the potato famine. It's the great potato famine. All of the potato plants have been given blights. Oh, a, a bloody animal's got the flu. A coda's got it sick. Oh, no. A coda's whole body flu. Right, well, hopefully we can look after them. If we can't, we're just going to have to eat them. But no. The great potato famine has happened again. Oh, Dabheed, everywhere you go, you cause the great potato famine. Oh, well. We're on the 6th of September at the moment. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Long live the Queen indeed. Also, Mr. Silgriff, thank you very much for your donation of $20. Very generous. Jesse Smith, thank you very much for your very generous $20. Generally, money, it it's, means a lot. Genuinely. Um, it certainly does help out this channel. And allows me to do ridiculously stupid things. Like, buy a new car. You only have Lipton tea. Well, code E, I'm disappointed that you don't have premium Yorkshire tea. But I understand that these things sometimes happen. And I just hope that they don't ever happen again. Okay? Right, this is your one, your one time off. Okay. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Bumble, your name is actually Dave. Oh. Oh, Dave. <laughs> oh, Dave! I'm glad that I'm glad that you uh, stumbled up, like stumbled into me on CK2, and now by calling out all the Daves, you've actually started to drink tea. I'm proud. I'm proud of any Dave who's out there in the community realizes how terrible it is not to drink tea. And is this a bloody storm? Jesus Christ, game! Like, what? You kill all my potatoes? You make my animals ill? And now you're just like, hey, let us just set the entire map on fire okay thanks game thanks game very cool game very cool <sighs> stat dog you're gonna have to look after the colony here how's um Akona doing how's his health he's been treated so he should do fine hopefully he'll build up an immunity the game knows you spiff it ramps up the difficulty to 2000 percent oh god hang a second it's hit more potato plants <laughs> Oh, oh, and the tea, the tea plants have stopped growing. Yeah, yeah, the tea plants sadly aren't going to be able to grow now, um, just due to uh, yeah, the situation we're in. To name a Jesus Nina. Christ! A second colony, so you have two. <laughs> okay, Ina, that's actually a good idea. That is actually an incredible idea. So Svino donates 50 incredible dollars to us that we settle a new colony using just her to grow tea. Now that's a great idea. We should do that. Yeah. Okay, we'll certainly do that. Willing tea producers. That's a new way to describe this colony. Wow. 
At the moment, you can see the colony is actually doing great. We have a huge backlog of food for basically winter. Now, the way this game works is there are four seasons to the game. You have winter, you have kind of like spring. Spring is when you can grow crops, summer is when you can, autumn is when you can't, and then winter just kills all of your people. Uh, now, we're entering winter, which is a bit of an issue. I think, what is happening with this beacon? Okay, beacon you're now able to operate. Good stuff. Now we've got the comms console up and running. I'm going to actually send Mark to... Oh, there's no ship in range at the moment. Okay. You see, if there's like a spaceship flying above the planet, we will now be able to contact them and basically say, Hey, look, we have 214 cups of tea. How would you like to buy them? Because tea sells for $8 a pop. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? $8 per tea. That is some London kind of pricing going on there. That is ridiculous. So yeah, we've got some very expensive tea. Oh. It's great that YouTube calculates 50 US dollars and shows it in Great British Pounds value. I know! It's almost like the internet knows which is the superior currency. Good old Great British Pound. Works every time. Actually not. We're going to change the hydroponics round from being uh, rice plants to being... What should we go for? Tea plants. So this basically means that... Uh, in a hydroponics basin you can grow crops all year round and using this we will now be able to set this to a all year round tea growing plantation I know it's glorious isn't it sup spiff boy you spicy specimen hey David you are a spicy specimen who hopefully should be drinking tea well, it's a pleasure to have you in chat my good sir it's an absolute pleasure <laughs> your worst nightmare <laughs> I'm sorry, David, that we recreated the potato famine. Why are you sowing rice? It's completely out of season for rice, I'm pretty sure. What is the season? 6th of September. It's the 7th of September. Just stop sowing the plants. You don't need to be sowing. You can't grow any more crops, I'm afraid. It really isn't the weather. Oh, but we can certainly grow hydroponic crops. That's fine. We can grow that tea. Look at you, Big David, enjoying a nice warm cup of tea. That's lovely. Clear the blight. No, 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 no. We'll keep the blight. Uh, it's uh, going to be a power... It's, yeah, it's just a power play to keep it in. Although we probably should actually just get rid of all these plants. We don't need them now. It's completely out of season. We're not going to yield any potatoes from that. Because, I mean... These are like $30. Sorry, not... These aren't $30, sorry. These are like... 12% grown, so you're not even eating a potato when you try and bite one of these. You're kind of like nibbling a root. It's basically 90% soil at this point. The potato is not grown. Clearing this blight does nothing, because winter's coming, ladies and gentlemen. And when winter comes, that's a big shame. Honestly, Dapid, I'm disappointed by your lack of maintenance to the potato crops, and I honestly feel like the best way to deal with this is to remove your kidney. I'm just saying. You made a mistake by letting the blight come. Actually, no, Dapid. We're not going to remove your right kidney because that might slow down your ability to sow crops. Instead, we're going to neuter you. What does neuter do? Yes. Does exactly what I thought it does. Prevents reproduction. Right. Dapid, I've just set you in order to be neutered. I'm terribly sorry. We're going to, top we're going to have to chop off your gentleman's sausage. What has happened here? Four of my colonists have gotten sick from fibrous mechanites. Oh god, basically four of my colonists have effectively caught the plague. <sighs> right, Mark the Doctor, you've got a job. I need you to prioritise operating on Dabheed. We need to remove his gentleman sausage. Neutering for the win. And don't say rip colony, ladies and gentlemen. We will survive, hopefully. <laughs> we always find a way. Life finds a way. Oh. Actually, no, there is one thing that I probably should be building. One thing I do kind of need is a kind of guest area for um, basically people who visit our colony to come visit. Oh, and I forgot I can build fences, can't I? The character Iro after the tea loving character from Avatar the Last oh. yes. Airbender. Avatar the Last Airbender, wow. I, you know, I haven't actually ever seen Avatar the Last Airbender. Oh, here, here comes Mark. He's doing the operation. How's it going? Good stuff, Mark. Good stuff, Mark. Yes. Sorry, Dabheed. You've been neutered, my mate. You've been neutered. Wabam. Ladies and gentlemen, F in chat for his gentleman sausage. <laughs> ah, that'll teach you for letting the potato famine come. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dabheed. 
<laughs> You've been such a generous person. Oh, you've been bankrolling all of these streams. And yet here I am removing your sausages. I'm so sorry. What are you doing, uh, A. Lambert? Oh, are you planting the tea? You are. You are actually doing it. Wow. You know what, A. Lambert, I'll also set you to uh, mine. And yes, you are set to grow and clean as well. Good stuff. So perhaps if I have you mine after all of this, that'll be great. What's this? Could you please eat a heart for the Queen and the Empire? What, do you want me to eat the heart of someone? That seems like quite a bold move to do. <laughs> uh, but yes, we're rolling into winter, and as soon as winter hits, we're having a huge issue at the moment, uh, because most of our colonists don't have warm clothes. Yeah. They're mostly just wearing standard synthred, which is fine, except they'll likely all freeze to death. So, yeah, as soon as winter hits, either we're not going outside, or we're just going to have to play safe. Actually, you know, why don't we try taming a few of these random animals? Because, um, you know, like, a couple of creatures lying around would be quite useful. Maybe we could get a friend for a Kona, our muffalo. So our muffalo is male, so logically, we try and locate a female muffalo. What have we got? Here we go, female muffalo. Tame. Oh, you switched to tea. Good, good, I'm proud you switched to English breakfast. You used twinings? Strong choice. Very strong choice with twinings. Right, I'm going to take Stat Dog to try and tame this muffalo. Um, hopefully we can tame this female muffalo, and then we have a male muffalo, female muffalo, that's baby muffalos. Also, we can name a muffalo. Which is very useful. Tea is love, tea is life, and coffee drinkers are heretics. Yes, coffee drinkers are heretics. That is the most logical thing I've learned. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, T Boy, for your donation. Very generous. I like the name T Boy. That's incredible. A genuinely brilliant name. How are you doing, Mark and Chase? You you guys are just idle at the moment. Chase, you are you not able to mine? I'm pretty sure I should have you at least be doing some things. Um Please harvest my organs. Good lord, that's um, quite a request right there. Oh, Stat Dog, you did it. You successfully tamed them. <gasps> we have a muffalo. Right, logically we should name this muffalo. Who should we name this after? Pretty sure it's in health. Overview. Uh, no, it's here maybe. Here we go. Wabam. Oh no, I think we might need to tame them first and then we can give them a name. Oh no, it's in training. There we go. Nice. So... Our muffalo needs a name. Logically, we're going to have to go to our donators list. Who is the most generous sausage? Oh, naturally. My goodness. Sfina, you wanted to uh, settle a colony, so I probably shouldn't give you a cow. That probably doesn't seem like the best thing. Who was the, our first generous donation? That was Dipede, but he's already in. Uh, it's Alchemy still exists. Okay. Congratulations, Alchemy. You're in the game. Right, you can be in as alchemy. That's the best. And I'm pretty sure I've misspelled alchemy. Yes, I have. That is an appalling spelling of alchemy. There we go. That's fine. So you're now in. And basically, we can train you to eventually uh, just do a bit of obedience. And, you know, I think we can harvest milk from buffalo. That sounds a bit creepy. Uh, but alchemy, yes, we're going to be harvesting milk from you. I don't know how comfortable I feel about harvesting milk from my subscribers. But, you know, life is life. And sometimes that's just what you've got to do. Uh, if life gives you milk, you just got to collect milk sometimes. How are you doing, Lambert? Oh, you're doing the bit of mining that I needed you to do. Good stuff. And Lambert is probably actually going to need another campfire, if I'm honest. He could do with a campfire. I'm surprised no one has bothered actually refueling this campfire. Like, genuinely, Dapper is choosing to drink tea instead of refueling a campfire. Oh. And Dipede is no longer incapable of walking. Oh, that's good. You can stand back up again after having your um, gentleman sausage removed. And now you can get back to harvesting. Well, I say harvesting. Killing the remains of the potatoes. Well done, Dipede. I'm so proud. T equals life? Well, of course. Why is someone in chat saying harvest my milk, says Biff? That is not a comfortable thing to write down. <laughs> that is not. <laughs> oh, God. What are you doing, A. Lambert? Oh, that's right. Yes, you're watching Prisoner. I forgot you do that. Refuel the campfire first, though, because otherwise our Prisoner will freeze to death. Because currently... Oh, they're stressed. Are they being killed by the... Uh, by the Mechanites? Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> oh god. Oh god, that was incredible. Oh, my great. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Dipe, for that generous donation. Take my spurs, then my wang, my only loves in the world, and now I'll send you to Australia. Actually, I can, because if I remember correctly, if we check our zones, uh, we have two areas in this game. We have Area 1, and then we also have Australia. Uh, Australia is the area only prisoners can go. So if you really want, Dabheed, I can designate you to going to only Australia. Yeah. Nobody wants to go to only Australia. Hello. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed my videos. What do I think about Twining's Tea? Twining's Tea, I do enjoy. It's good tea. Solid tea. It's better than any American tea. That's for certain. Right, actually, you know what, let's, uh, I said I was going to set up an area for guests, and I should probably actually go about and do that. So, our guests need basically a small building where they can uh, just have a large amount of beds and stay over. <laughs> Eat a heart for the Queen of the Empire. Well, that's quite bold. Let's just cancel those two. Lovely stuff. And we're going to whack in a door. So this is just going to be a nice large bunkhouse for any guests from other factions that come visit us. We're just going to whack them in here and they're going to have a lovely time. And maybe we can convince them to join. If we can't, that's fine. We'll uh, forcefully... Uh, what, is, what would be the correct term? I was going to say forcefully emancipate, but that would be to free them. Forcefully de-emancipate? That's probably the correct term. How are you doing, Lambert? You're a bit stressed at the moment. Why? Oh, you're upset. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what is that? Oh God! Which was a mistake. Oh goodness! Dragon Starter, thank you very much for your generous donation. Oh, it was very kind of you. I'm so sorry to hear that you had your wisdom teeth out, but um, our our prisoner, A. Lambert, is currently facing a minus 10 mood penalty due to the fact that a colonist was neutered and they're afraid that they're next. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. And Dipede has a permanent minus 10 due to the fact that he's been neutered. He feels incomplete, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no one else in the colony is actually upset about it. Yeah, everyone else is fine. Oh, actually, no. Stat dog. Stat dog is worried that someone was neutered. Oh, my goodness. These poor people. These poor people. Although, apparently, they are sleeping in the cold now. Yeah, we need to kind of start heating up some of these rooms. Because um, these areas, they're not staying warm enough. So, we're going to need to just naturally whack in more inefficient heaters. What about Old Grey Tea? Old Grey Tea, I do quite like it. It's very, very nice. Um, it's quite strong stuff. It has its place, but not for me. Oh, God. Bad news, guys. Dipede. Not only has he recently been neutered and is currently suffering from fibrous mechanites, he also has uh, food poisoning. Dipede, you're... you're your week's not going too well at the moment, I've got to be honest. You were doing much better last week. I probably shouldn't have made it worse by removing your sausage. Oh, but you know, sometimes that's just what you got to do. If a sausage got to go, the sausage got to go, my friend. Oh, thank you very much, Comrade Dave. Um, and Magic Star, thank you very much. Colorblind Kid as well. It's very generous, all of you. Thank you very much. Uh, Lone Rider asks, how do you donate? There's a few ways. You can use... Uh, Super chat on um, on Steam, or you can use uh, sorry, no, not super chat on Steam. You can use super chat on uh, YouTube, or you can use Streamlabs, uh, which basically donates via PayPal. Well, no, that donates and goes into my PayPal. Uh, that's probably the best way of giving me the most amount out of your donation, because uh, YouTube takes a fair bit out of super chats. Oh, minor break risk. Oh no. What's happened here? I think someone got very upset. Probably Dipede. What is going on there? Oh, I see. He's just projectile vomiting on the floor. That's fine. That's fine. I forgot that. You know, if you want to projectile vomit everywhere, you do you, mate. It's not my place to judge. If you want to vomit all over the floor, you vomit all over the floor. Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, put Dipede on a double dose of tea to cure his depression. <gasps> You've got it. You've actually got it. Harvest my milk, Daddy, and I'll harvest <laughs> your milk. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh God, fine. Yeah, Dipede. Um, here's what we'll do. Operations, add bill, administer garden tea. There we go. So we'll have his meal and then he'll sit down in a little bed and a doctor will come on over. I think Mark is going to grab some tea. Jesus Christ, Jesse Smith. Good Lord, that's a, that's a very large donation. $45. Good Lord. You, a very generous sausage. Thank you very much. How very kind of you. That's certainly going to keep me going for quite a while. Um, and of course, French muck baguette. Thank you very much. It wants some slaves. How can you have 750 tons of slaves? That's quite impressive. Anyway, I'm just going to um, add in a few more generic work orders because we could do have a bit more mining going on. So we'll arrange for that. And I guess we could have some plant cut going on. You know, if you're not doing anything, you can just do a bit of plant cutting. Uh, we haven't got a research task scheduled, do we? No. So we now need to do machining. There we go. Um, yeah, we're making good progress at the moment, actually. Do you mean fork knife? Oh no, were people talking about fork knife in the chat? 45 US dollars, isn't that like five great British pounds? Uh, not quite, the conversion isn't that bad at the moment. <laughs> Maybe in the future, who knows? Oh. Wow. Oh, the indoor temperature isn't actually that bad. Probably don't need to actually build that. Yeah, the indoor temperature for this area is 28 degrees. Oh, goodness, they just decided to get rid of that wall. It's suddenly not 28 degrees. <sighs> Your melon. All right, build that back up, otherwise the prisoner's going to get upset. Stat dog? Oh, wait, no, Big Day Vet's doing it. Good stuff. Now the prisoner's happy, although they are on edge. So not particularly happy, but, you know, they're acceptable. Smith, what's your opinion on hot chocolate? May you drink that? You know, hot chocolate has its time and place, so I understand, mate. Don't you worry. Shut off fork knife service. Oh, yeah, that's our, that's one of our many long-term goals. Long-term goal number one, uh, take over the world. Long-term goal number two, reinstate the British Empire. Uh, Long-term goal number three, uh, certainly delete fork knight. Yeah, that's definitely going to be up there. And one thing we could do is get a stonecutter's table going. Have we got one? No, I think we've just got a sculptor's table. Um, does an electric smelter do that? Yeah, I think an electric smelter will be able to do that. So we'll get that one set up. And whack that bad boy in there. And I suppose we could also do some mining of metals, really. So we'll set up some men to go do that. There we go. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Oh... I haven't laughed this much, but now I can't enjoy a full Irish. <laughs> Sorry, Dipede. Oh, you, I'm honestly amazed that you're only stressed. Like, I'm forcing you to um, mine aggressively. You've been neutered. You're in serious pain. You're quite cold, to be honest. Really quite cold. For some reason, you ate without a table, despite the fact there is a perfectly good table right there. Oh, my goodness. Right, you know what, um, let's get these sandstone chunks out of the prisoner quarters and uh, we need to build more hydroponics areas. Whereabouts are they? I think they're in MISC, maybe? Or in production? Yes, here we go, production hydroponics bay. So yeah, we're just going to whack down a few more hydroponics bays. These are just going to be for our prisoners to work on and our prisoners will have a great time basically making sure that we're growing tea all year round. Sometimes I feel like the prawns need... What? Oh, the prawns need brain transplants. Well, we can probably organise that. Yeah, we just grab one of these and then we move them across. <gasps> Cargo pods. What have we got? We've got a large amount of blue fur. That's pretty useless, uh, but I'm sure we can turn, make some clothes out of that. That's fine. Probably in the tailoring bench, we might also want to try and make a few parkers. These are kind of like coats. So let's say we have six colonists, so let's make six. We don't need to make one for the, uh, you know, prisoner. They'll be fine. They don't go out too much anyway. Prisoner, the prisoner basically over winter is just not going to see sunlight, ever. They just won't visibly see the sun. They can dream about it and they can enjoy all of the statues that we've surrounded them in. Actually, now that I think about it, 
Locking the prisoner in a solid wooden room with just creepy sculptures might be a bit odd. That's a bit odd. Yeah, that is quite strange. Oh my goodness. Uh, the Devil of Saint donates 10 US dollars saying, Coffee till the day I die. Right, Derby Spy Crab, find that person in chat and please do ban them. Heretical words, I cannot believe it. Oh, now we need to set all the plants to grow to tea plants. There we go. <laughs> Thank you very much for sending your blessings. Thank you, Harney and Sons. Very nice. Generous $10 of you. Very generous indeed. Spiff, can you uh, just drug them 24 set? 24-7, lobotomize them, break their knees, you know, all of the things that... Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, we can do all of those lovely things. Oh, what on earth is going here? What? Firstly, a cold snap is set in, so most of my plants are going to die. Secondly... What did it say? A group of dromades have joined or something? Oh. Camels. How many camels have... Do we... We now have two camels. Right. What are camels doing here? We're about to go into winter, but hey, we've now got a few camels to worry about. That's fine. I guess we now just need to kind of locate an area for the camels to sleep in. So uh, we'll just have all of the animals as normal sleep in the kitchen. Because you know that's safe food hygiene right there. Jesus Christ. I just saw someone's donation, but that we'll have to wait for later. Good Lord. Oh. Oh, mate, you go to Air Force Basic Training? Yeah, of course, you could. you're not allowed your phone there, are you? It's a shame. I'm going to miss you, mate. That's a shame. I hope you do somehow find a way to get tea. Oh, that's a real shame to lose you. Anyway, we have our first dromedary. We need to give him a name. Yes, emancipate the organs from the oppression of the human form. That's exactly what we're going for. Um, right, so we need to name our first camel. So I'll scroll down. What do we got? Uh, bam, 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 bam. We have Jesse Smith, of course. Right, Jesse Smith, congratulations, you're in. Um, Hi, as a camel. You. Come visit again soon. GT oh, misses your lover. I miss you too. <laughs> Thank you very much <laughs> for that. One pound there, Mr. Joe Rubens. You saucy sausage. Um, so yeah, we've now got Jesse Smith the camel. And where is our other camel? Where are they located? I'm not really too sure what we can do with camels. They're good hauling animals, actually, aren't they? Uh, technically, we can eat them. Let's get... this another name. Oh. oh, collab with many a true nerd. I'm very excited for that, yes. Hopefully something will be in the works. I can't wait to see what myself and many a true nerd can do together. Uh, so we got Jesse Smith in. Uh, now we should probably lob in. Oh, I'm thinking we go for ba -da 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 -da. Carlos the camel. <gasps> Carlos the camel I can get behind. Carlos the camel. Oh, it's just Carlos the came. I'm going to switch that to Carlos the come. I had my appendix out and rewatched all of your videos. That's fine. It kept me going when I was... Oh, mate, you had your appendix out. Good lord, mate. That is a very difficult thing to do. Well done for going through that. Jesus Christ. Appendix, not very fun at all. Very painful things. I've never had one, but I've heard sad things about them. Oh, and the temperature for growing the tea is not going well. <gasps> tea plant has died because it's too cold. Right, desperate times call for desperate measures. They're only 80% done, but they might be able to yield something. So we're just going to have to harvest all of them early. Go. And everyone needs to be aggressively set to a uh, plant cut. Where are they? Work. Who can do plant cut? You know, everyone's now number one plant cut. And you can do some as well. There we go. Please, get the tea. No, the tea's dying. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Not the tea. Jesus Christ, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's all gone. Oh, God. Oh, God. F in the chat. The F, Just the Fs immediately exploded. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so sad. 
the tea. It was too young. It was too young. It wasn't time for the tea to go. It's too soon. Oh, goodness. As a real shame. I was not ready for that. T, you will be missed. You will be missed. It's not much, but I've been enjoying your content oh. a lot recently. Well done, mate. Thank you very also, much. Is great. Mate, one pound might not seem like much, but trust me, it makes a huge deal to me. Thank you very much for your very generous well uh, donation there. Oh, my goodness. Do we have any components lying around? Yes, we do. We have a few components over here. I'm going to need them because I'm actually running out of components. Um, quite badly, actually. Um, are there any, like, shipped chunks lying around that I can harvest stuff from? You know, we are ridiculously overdue a raid. Like, I desperately need a raid. I just need one. I just need, like, a ship to come slamming down and I can attack it. Hey, Daddy, That's all I want. Is it okay to put milk in tea? Yep. I like putting milk in my tea. It is I good to put milk sure in tea. I'm not a no, no, it's not your fault. Also milk should go in tea. My milk. Don't just laugh at me. Oh, God, happy cow cow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do I need to, like, try and find a female mufflow to tame to name after you? I, that might be a bit tricky. I don't think there are any on the map, no. When you have male mufflows left... I suppose technically you can have male milk. <laughs> oh god! I don't want to go there. <laughs> I do not want to go there. Wait, indoors is minus 12. What? How is it so cold? Good lord. Um, looks like we're going to need, you know, actually more power going into, I don't know, heating up this area, please. Please, can you guys try and heat up the indoor area? Actually, I might need to um, separate them a bit. Yeah, if I put like a wooden door there, that should probably trap all the heat just in up here. Oh, love from the USA. Oh, well, don't worry. We'll have you in the Empire very soon. Thank you very much for your... Oh, Jesus Christ. Rare Night King. Thank you very much. $99. Wow. That's, uh, that makes a huge difference, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, you want to rejoin the Empire? With donations like that, hell yeah. We can do it. What's happening to my colonists? Why are they all dying? Health? Hyperthermia serious? Oh, they're, they're all suffering from extreme frostbite. Right. Probably should have noticed that one, honestly. Probably should. You know what? I'm going to need a beverage. Oh, my goodness. Ah. <sighs> Cause for a gin and tonic, I'm afraid. Ah. Oh god, what have we done? This is not good. Chase is about to break. Like, right now. He's in intense pain, he's greedy for impressive bedrooms, and he's also in minus four. At least you aren't decoherent who set up a prison room with lifelike statues of... That's true. Colonists staring at him as they sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good idea. I probably should do something like that. Um, our prisoner is, you know, almost dying. We need to encourage people to do the... Yeah, we need to probably up hauling. And the reason why is I think hauling deals with... Um, and probably also doctoring. Doctoring needs to be up there. Uh, we need to basically slam down campfires and desperately. Uh, so we need a campfire down in the medical wing. We need... Campfires in here, and campfires in here, and probably just whack a few of them in these general areas. There we go. Everyone can have a campfire in their bedroom. That seems good to me. And now we just need to locate people who can do all of this. So prioritize working on the campfire. Probably in the medical wing is a good idea. Mark, can you... Um, incapable of manipulation. Okay, so Mark can't do any of that. So if you ever have the chance to try Jasmine Black Pearls from David, oh, go for it. Sounds good. Collis needs rescue. Mark, what's up? Mark, what's happening? No. No. Extreme hyperthermia. Oh, God. Probably should have made those cloves a bit faster, shouldn't I? You know what? Honestly, I think I should probably whack on a few of these Parkers onto my colonists before they die. Big day vet. Wear these parkers, otherwise you can freeze to death. Work on that campfire. Um, the dog is saving Mark, our only doctor. Stat dog, how are you doing? You are also having hyperthermia. Mark's. 
Get that cup of tea, I mate. I and brew some ginger and lemon herbal tea. I have a bit of, of a cough. Closing parenthesis. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that you've got a cough. Um, should have probably read that out a bit better, but currently just dealing with frostbite at the moment. How is it going? A lot of a lot of extreme pain. Some colonists are not in the best situations at the moment. For a start, A. Lambert is down. Chase, what are you doing? You're just relaxing socially with garden tea. Mate, there are some more important things at work going on now. A. Lambert. Oh, no. Big Dave Uh Yes. Could I get a few more uh, campfires going, please? Need wood. Oh, we've got wood. It's right there, mate. There's wood right there. Medical emergency. A. Lambert is down. Okay. A. Lambert can yeah be hauled back to a bed. It's kind of warm in here, I think. Yeah, it's minus six. That's still quite cold. Yeah, it turns out minus six is quite cold. Yeah, you know, if we lose this colony, we'll just have to start a new, with the new tea colony. Uh, these things happen, you know. Sometimes you just don't expect to accidentally kill all of your colonists. You know, some would say it's my fault. I don't think so. I don't remember that. Big Day Vet. Big Dave, you can't botch the construction. This is the only thing that can save Lambert. Critical at hyperthermia. What is happening? Dapper, what's happening? Oh, I see. You're losing pinkies at an incredible rate. Why are you so cold? It is minus four. Okay, someone actually finished building that campfire. Uh, Statman, you work on your campfire. Jesus Christ! What was that? What was that? An electricity conduit short-circuited. Getting rid of all of my electricity... Now the heaters aren't going to work. And the pants are on fire. <laughs> Actually, no, this is a good sign. The fire will heat up the indoors. Don't put out the fire. Stay away from the fire. Just let it heat it up a bit. Please, we need all the heat we can get. <laughs> That's actually... Di it did the trick. The room's temporarily got up to, like, six degrees. It's not bad. <laughs> Dabheed, uh, we don't need you hauling iron. I'd much rather prefer you build this, uh, build this campfire. No, actually, oh, you're not you're not assigned to construction. Stat dog, look, as much I'd love to have you there, just please build these bloody campfires. There we go, and no path to the one in Chase's room. Why is there no path there? I guess I did accidentally swap this room with flower pots. That's probably my issue, yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. Chase is, uh, what is Chase doing? He's still, f oh, he's making a parker. Well, you know what? We do need these parkers, so, uh, yeah. Honestly, at this point, anyone could attempt to make them. Anyone. You know, I'd say that wasn't too bad, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's do a quick health check of all of our colonists. So, Dapper lost a right ring finger, left ring finger, left second toe, left pinky, right pinky, and a left ear. And their nose. Their nose is gone. Right, that's probably going to hurt for quite a while. Diapede, how are you doing? You, uh, you're you upset about being neutered, but you only lost your left pinky. You know, it's actually a good thing we neutered you, Diapede, because if we didn't, that could have frozen off. And I'm just saying, better it was removed by a, a chopping block than removed via, you know, frostbite. That would have been bad. Uh, Big Davette, you lost some toes and an index finger. That might affect your shooting, but otherwise that's fine. Chase, you've lost uh, a lot of, yeah, just mostly toes and fingers. Stat dog, do you lose anything? Just leave me empty. I want all of my milk inside you and all of your milk inside of me. What? 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 What was that? I mean, if not, then what other beverage other than tea oh, I don't know allowed? how to describe that donation. Whiskey. What other beverage other than tea is allowed? Gin and tonic, my friend. Hmm. Hmm. Stat dog, how did you do? Stat dog, um, your bionic ears have frost frostbite, but I'm pretty sure they're bionic, so I'm surprised they even have issues. Toxic fallout. What? This is so... <laughs> what is the luck on this? A distant chemical fire released a plume of poison over this entire region. Any person or creature not under a roof will slowly basically die of cancer. 
it will last for anywhere between a few days to over a season. Oh, God. Well, you know what? I'm going to designate all of these areas over here as build roof. And the reason why is because if we ever wander out, I'd like there to be a roof there. And, um, yeah, we can hopefully, you know, build a roof around this bit here and here. And come like, just, I don't know, around here a bit and around here. As a Welshman, you can't condone tea. That's not true. Any Anyone can enjoy a good bit of tea. There we go. Oh, my God. Why is food not being produced? What's happened to our food, Bill? Oh, I see. Yes. I said it so that we'd always brew tea over food. Well, we have a lot of tea, but we don't have much food at the moment. Oh, God. Look at the toxic fallout. You can see it happening. Dapper. Um, initial toxic buildup. Okay, right. This is no joke. Okay. Con lists. I'm afraid you're no longer allowed to go outside. Tea is great, but it's better with the scones you can curl at that. The one true waverer. This is an issue. Scones to be served as cream than jam, unlike the heathens of Cornwall. Right, we're going to need to uh, basically trim. For everything you Aaron do, you have shown me some of my new favourite games. Oh, mate, for I'm glad that you enjoy. For the Tea Empire, indeed, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you for your generous donation. I'm glad that I've shown you some new games. Right, I'm just going to have to clear up this area, basically. And we're going to have to convince everyone in our colony to not go outside, basically. Because uh, the outside area will just kill you. And if we get raided, uh, we are probably going to die. Probably. It's quite likely, honestly. Yeah. I will. I will try and tidy this up a bit, but for the time being... This is mostly just to stop all of my colonists being murdered. So, uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of all of that there. That's good stuff. And all of that. Don't want anyone going outside. You don't want to go outside at the moment. Trust me, it's not fun. It's not fun. Probably, okay, I have actually just been up that area. There we go, that's fine. And like so. Good stuff, yeah. We don't need any of this. That's all good. Lovely stuff. There we go. So this is just a part of our attempt to, you know not die who knows if it's going to be a success who knows right and designate this as a loud area there we go the middle heater is inverted yeah the middle heater is inverted uh, for summer basically because at summer um we basically need it otherwise our colonists freeze to death anyway now we want to assign all of our colonists to uh, area one. Oh, and probably all of our animals too sorry animals no going outside uh, where is it? Is it in here? Restrict. Here we Thanks go. For making me Everyone's drink area more one. Tea. I feel healthy and more energetic. Oh, hey, I'm glad you feel more energetic. Never forget that. It does have incredible powers. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Schmibs. Thank you, Michael Galloway, for your two dollars. Right. So hopefully the colonists should be going outside less and less. In fact, they'll only go outside to get the food. But beyond that, that should be fine. I um, probably should move some of these goods. A few minor break risks at the moment, mostly due to the cold. That's fine. Honestly, don't worry about it. Mark, what are you doing? Oh, I see, yes, you're building that door. Good stuff. Good stuff. Should have aimed for the desert. Okay, yes, desert probably wouldn't have given us this much hyperfermia. But, you know, sometimes ODST bag... Oh, I like that name, that's good. Sometimes, you know, you've got to go for the easiest option. How's the Parker doing? You know, we should probably send StatDog to do this, um, because something tells me StatDog, probably our, fa our fastest kind of craftsman. Um, actually, Chase isn't too bad. He's on 12. Okay, so yeah, Chase, if you just work on this, basically. Although it is minus 16 in this room. Jesus Christ. How are you guys not dying of hyperfermia in here? You know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to question that. That's fine. Oh, one of the ACs is the wrong way around. I know it's the wrong way around. It's the wrong way around so that in winter, sorry, no, in the summer, we can cool down this room. Uh, so I'll, I'll actually, you know, turn this off if you guys are worried about it. What was happening there? I can hear some angry yelps. I think something might be getting killed. Oh. What is going on? Oh, well. 
I think some animal was killed outside. Um, yeah, so the reason why is basically in the summer it gets so hot in this in this kind of like biome that just walking through here can set colonists on fire. So I just decided to build one of these bad boys to make everyone happy. Uh, how are you doing, stat dog? You haven't actually built up any fallout. No one has. Okay, you know, we're doing well. Because we built this roofed area, uh, there's less toxic fallout, so everyone's happy. That's good. What about all of the wildlife? Oh, God. This thing's going to kill all of the animals. Oh. All of the random, like, alpacas. Oh. 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 Yeah, Use the actual point. heater. Now harvest my milk in exchange for this information. <laughs> That's not how this trade deal works, my friend. <laughs> it's nice that all of you guys have helped, though. That's good, okay. So, yeah, we'll turn this bad boy off, and I guess we can relocate them. What's going on here? Manhunter pack. A manhunter pack of lynx. Love from MA, oh, USA. Christ. Fancy another Boston Tea Party. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not more... Manhunters. Oh, God. Um, right. We can no longer go outside. We are locking... Basically, we're just going to disallow all of the doors. If you're in your room... Congratulations, you're in your room. Actually, Carlos. Carlos the come. You need to come inside. Please come. Okay, we need to allow that. Carlos. Carlos. Oh god, Carlos, this is on you. This is on you, Carlos. Oh, they don't come for you. Oh, that's a good sign. Okay, Carlos, you can stay outside for a few days, basically. Oh, and the good news is... <gasps> they're deadly manhunter lynxes, but... They will still probably die due to the... Yes, they're dying to the toxic fallout. Oh, this is brilliant. Yes. <laughs> we won't be able to kill you, but we will eventually be able to just... Watch you cancer your way to death. Good stuff. Oh. No. No, Carlos, no! Chase, is there anything you can do? No, you only have Molotov cocktails. That would just kill everyone. Stat dog. Maybe it's time you become a hero. For Carlos to come. Fire one. And get back inside, stat dog. Back inside. And disallow. No, no, sad dog. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. Oh, oh, oh no. Are they trying to come through that door? No. Okay. Oh, that was close. They almost made it through that door. Uh, Carlos the Cum, can you... Are they just going to slowly eat you? Wow. Yes, they are just slowly trying to eat you. Right. You know, Carlos, I'll open this door and let you in. Come on inside, Carlos. Please, don't die. There we go, Carlos. Good stuff, Carlos. Well done, and we'll now lock that behind you. Uh, so Chase and Stat Dog are just going to have to live without food for a bit. Um, but you know, it's okay. There's deadly radiation happening outside. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, and a raid of tribespeople, of course. Well, you know what? This is actually a good sign. Other than the fact that most of them will die due to toxic buildup, these are people that we can put to work in our colony when the colony you know, can function again. Um, oh, work frenzy stat dog. He's experiencing inspiration. Okay, so he's just going to work a bit better for the next few days. Uh, are you attacking immediately, tribal people? I mean, you can stand outside and, you know, die from cancer if you prefer. How are you, Lynx is doing? Still just initial mostly. That's fine. Hey, Spiff, download the Prisoner Harvest mod. I have got that mod. I have got it. It's very nice. It's very useful as well. Um, you know, I'm wondering if actually we save time and we build a wooden door here, allowing us to get into our tailoring area um, without going outside. There we go. Now we can actually get back to work doing some tailoring. And that should make Chase happy, except Chase isn't happy because he's trapped in his room. So maybe we probably should have built something a bit better. Okay, here's an idea. We build a door there and a door there. 
And there we go. Chase and Stabdog are just breaking through their rooms <laughs> so they can actually, um, yes, escape, basically. Oh, and here come our attackers. <gasps> They're hitting up my cooler. The bastards. Oh, Dominic Lawson. My friend. Good Lord. Thank you very much. Dominic Lawson, that is a ridiculously generous donation. Thank you very much. 100 US dollars. Should we be putting this towards college? Yeah, you probably should, mate. But thank you very much. I'll be putting this towards something good. Uh, you promise that. I'll split it evenly between myself and... Uh, my lovely fiance Mango. I'll make sure she gets something nice with this, don't you worry. Mm. Oh, cheers. Thank you very much. Right. Heaters. Someone called heaters. Don't hit two pounds. Please use heaters for heating and not coolers. Love your content. Right. Yeah, we will get rid of this. Um, it's time we get our colonists ready for a fight because they've they've just come through the cooler. So, Dapper, you don't actually have a gun. Mark, do you? No. Chase, you have Molotov, so we shouldn't have you fighting. Stat Dog, we can use you, okay? So, Stat Dog, I'm going to want you. Hey, Lambert, you just stay locked in your room, and we have no problems. Oh, we also need to make sure that this is locked for um, basically everyone excluding. Uh, yeah. You just said it's locked. But allow all of your colonists and not your prisoner. And your prisoner will never randomly try and escape. Dapid, how are you doing? Oh, for Christ's sake, they are setting my bloody solar generators on fire. Stat dog, get down here. I suppose you guys could work on this guy that's literally right next to you. And don't hit the door. Right, Dapid, get back because you're not good in close combat. But I'll tell you who is Stat dog. There we go, that's a headshot right there. Well done, Stat dog. And now get outside, guys. We've got some combat to do. Oh, wow, they're fleeing. Oh, why are they doing that? Oh, I see. The lynxes killed them. Where are the lynxes? Oh, God, the lynxes are coming. Oh. Oh, God, they just cracked open a hole. They just cracked open a hole. Can we build a wooden wall fast enough? Stat dog, you're the fastest person. Build a bloody wooden wall. David, get back inside. Mark, 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 Mark. Okay, look, my friend. I know you want to. I know you want to build that wall, but um, I'm gonna have you do something more imp important. Okay, you're gonna build this wall. Okay, it's gonna be good. Stat dog, I'm gonna cancel you from doing that. Mark. Please use heaters for heating and not coolers. Oh my goodness. Love your content. Um. Right. So I'll conscript you, put you there. Mark, please build. Mark, work on this. Don't get the wood from elsewhere. Oh, bollocks. Sorry, is not much, but thank you for everything you do. Will there ever be more heat of... Um, I love heart to iron four, hopefully. Oh, bugger. All right, stat dog, I'm going to need you back. There's a lynx coming. Dipede, run back. Oh god, yeah, hopefully there should be some hearts find four coming. I'm not too sure when. Big Dave get out of the way. Good stuff, stat dog. Go for the melee punch. Dipe, do you just shoot stat dog? <sighs> you did. What is your shooting skill? Six. I expected better from you. Oh, we got it down. Oh, thank god. There we go, we've managed it. We've managed it just somehow. Good lord. And, um, you know what, actually? We're going to allow this temporarily for a few reasons. Mark, you're going to capture Dane Scoot here, or whatever. Dipede, you're going to capture, um, Innermen. And, Stat Dog, you can capture... Actually, are you in immediate danger? No. You're going to capture Viper. Okay, so we've captured a load of prisoners. And we can designate a few medical prisoner beds, I guess. Yeah, we can have a few medical prisoner beds. There we go. And basically, it looks like we've just got a few more colonists slash willing prisoners to name. Provided they survive, of course, because um, a lot of them are slowly dying to cancer slash are bleeding out. Uh, we need to make sure that we have our doctor on standby, basically. Not that we have any medication to give them, but uh, yeah. Oh god, what is going on here? Oh no, the lynx is trying to come through. Dipede, 
Okay, now block that. Don't come through. Don't come through. Do not hit down that door, you cheeky lynx. It's on 38. Don't do it. Thank God. Oh, God. How have we... How on earth did we survive that? Oh, we didn't. Well, we didn't, did we? No. The solar panel's on fire. Why is the solar panel on fire? Well, that's a good question, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Why is the bloody solar panel on fire? <laughs> oh, right, okay. I want a wall. I want a door down here so that we can, you know, have someone stop that solar fire. Okay, get them down and mark. Honestly, you don't even need to use medication on some of these people. You get none because you're dead so soon. You're four hours, okay. And what are you? You're 11 hours. Okay, so mark. Honestly, prioritize tending this person because they're dead real soon and just use your bloody hands. They don't deserve medication. We don't mind if they get an infection. We can live with infections. What we can't live with is no, uh, you know, willing workers. Oh god, they've gone through the bloody door! These lynxes, for goodness sake! Okay, um, Dapper, do you have a melee weapon lying around for you? No. You're going to need to grab the machine pistol. Uh, Big Davet, you've got your survival rifle. Right, we're going to need to set up a shooting gallery, basically. Uh, Dipede, you're over here. Dapper, you can position yourself over here. And Stat Dog, how's your health doing? Fine. Goodness sake. Oh no. Sanubi! Oh no, Sanubi! You're too, too good for this. Right. We need to open this up and get killing. Because at the moment they're just hurting Sanubi and we can't have that. Uh, Stat Dog, you need to get out here. There we go. Big Dave, come back. Come back. There we go. Good. Jesus Christ! Dapede, did you do it? You've killed that Lynx. You've killed that Lynx. Dapede! You've done it! Oh my good lord! He saved them! He saved Akona and Sanubi is injured but alive. Dapid, how on earth? You shot them and you actually managed to hit them and then... Oh my good lord. Dapid, you know, yes, the crops might have been plagued because of your negligence and we did new to you, but you know what? I'm going to add a bill. I'm going to add a bill. Install basic reproductive organs. We're going to give you your gentleman sausage back. You genuine hero. My good lord. What a man. What a man. I'm so proud. So proud of him, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on over here? Oh god, the tea's on fire. You know, just for a little bit, I'm going to unrestrict everyone. Um, just because, at the moment, it's looking like we could do with it. So everyone's unrestricted. We'll allow these doors. Although, actually, we probably don't need this door anymore. We can keep that disallowed. And you can go outside and get a bit of toxic buildup, but hopefully you just put out all these fires, really. And so there we go, everyone. You're no longer conscripted. You're free to go. Uh, how are you doing when you're going to die? Three hours? You're two hours? Okay, we'll get you done first. Um, my god ladies and gentlemen how on earth did we manage this how on earth did we survive that solar flare honestly I, I don't care that's fine I'll take a solar flare I'll take a solar flare oh god good lord oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> the tea is on fire though can we please uh, you know do something about that a hey, Lambert Oh, I was wondering, what is A. Lambert doing out here? A. Lambert, you should not be allowed out here. Yeah, definitely shouldn't be. And uh, we should probably chop down some of these trees because we could really do some wood. Uh, so yeah, you've cut that down, Sat Dog, because I know you're a god when it comes to wood cutting. So come on, just cut down all of them. And someone else can haul them. And there we go. And we'll have a, another... Uh, yeah, I need another cooler here, if I remember correctly, because it's where I put my food. Oh my goodness, what a mess. What an absolute mess, ladies and gentlemen. But hey, we're making good progress. Uh, so this 
Yeah, this is one prisoner that we've managed to save. And this is Viper, who's almost about to die. Uh, you know, uh, Mark, I don't suppose you could actually... Oh, instead of feeding food, prioritize tending. Because, you know, there's no point feeding them food if they're just going to die. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Everyone nearly freezes to death. Poison Cloud kills everything. Lynx is murdering everyone. People fire everywhere. And then solar flares. Oh my lord. Ladies and gentlemen. I deserve such a massive tea break after that. Hmm. Svina says, Can I apply that $50 to the next save if everyone here dies of cancer? Most definitely. <laughs> You know what, Svina, I will actually find the best colonist out of all of these, and we can name them after you. So, Purple Dane here is actually incredible. Um, like, these are some pretty decent stats, other than poor cooking and poor medical. Like, this is not bad at all. Viper, what do you like? You're an undergrounder and beautiful. Beautiful is an incredible trait to have. Um, you're generally... Yeah, why are they all undergrounders? Are they seriously all? No, your chemical interest, chemical interest in staggeringly ugly. Well, you're going to make a perfect prisoner, don't you worry. You're going to do great. <laughs> uh, but I guess. Can I apply that fifty dollars to the next save oh. if everyone here dies of cancer? You most certainly fan can't. Yep. Um. So what I think I'll do, Svina, is I'll give you this colonist here. So this can now be Svina. And um, hopefully, uh, this female cave child scout, uh, we, instead of setting them to work in the slave mines, we will instead try and recruit. <laughs> Can I have my wang back? Yay, thanks. Yeah, I think you might be getting it installed now, Dapeed. Um, I think, yeah, we're just waiting for a doctor to basically come around and install your sausage. And as soon as that happens, you should be good. But yeah, so we've now got Svina, and what we'll do is we'll try and recruit them, and then we should be able to basically uh, send them off into the world later on. Uh, is my power setup a bit broken? No, my power setup's actually doing okay. I'm surprised. That's not too bad. How are these lynxes doing? They're unconscious. We'll have to do something about them. So, newbie, you're almost going to die. I don't suppose, stat dog, what are you doing? Oh, I guess you're sleeping off your injuries. Have we got a colonist doing nothing? I guess Big Davet. You can build that cooler first. That would be great. And then we can have you do some other stuff. Dapper, probably you shouldn't be mining in the toxic build, uh, toxic fallout. I'm going to have you rescue Sanubi, please. And then that should be good. Oh my goodness. Honestly, if you've enjoyed this stream, please give it a like. Because how many people are watching? It's 2,100. Good lord. I wonder where we place in comparison to other YouTube streams. Surely that's not bad. Maybe we're beating Fortnite. I hope we've somehow managed to make RimWorld more popular than Fortnite. That would make my day. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> there we go. Um, so we've got some lovely new colonists to work with now. Uh, so we need a name for this prisoner here. So we've got Viper. Uh, so Viper needs a name. And I guess we'll go for... Let's check my list. Ba -ba -da -da -da, scrolling on down. Do -do -do. Scrolling on through the list. Um, so we've got Jesse Smith in. Uh, we could technically have Cowgirl in, um, but I'm guessing Cowgirl probably would like a uh, a muffalo. So instead, I'm guessing we can go for the Devil of Saint. Oh, no, he said coffee till the day I die. I'm devastated. Can't have that. Uh, I'm going to go for... Uh, generic NPC. There we go. So generic is in. And generic is a relatively good melee and minor. So that's not bad. We might actually be able to put our, you know, our slave workers to use mining. Hey Lambert, what are you doing out here? This person's nickname is now, uh, yep, there we go. Generic. And Svina has died, caused blood loss. Ah. Probably should have tended those wounds. Well, congratulations, Svina. Your consciousness has hopped over into a brand new body, uh, which is also facing extreme blood loss. And, um, you know, it's, some would say it's a bit of a down... 
it's a downgrade from the tough undergrounder to the brand new chemical interest stagging, staggeringly ugly. Uh, you're a skilled crafter though, so um, congratulations. Uh, you're in. <laughs> this is what you get. Congratulations. Uh, so you're in, and I'm now that we only we're down to free, you know, workers. I'm not going to instantly give you freedom. Uh, a Lambert, what are you doing? A Lambert, you best not be trying to run away because I'm pretty sure you should be restricted. A Lambert, prisoners, allowed areas, manage areas. You should only be allowed to go into Australia, my friend. Oh, although it does appear to be a tad buggered. Yeah, you need to get back into your area, A Lambert. If I'm honest. Can someone, I don't know, uh, grab them? Oh, actually, I know what I can do. Here we go. Health, operations, ad bill, administer garden tea. There we go. And that's going to tell them to uh, get back into their bed, I guess. Somehow. Uh, I don't know if they can go through there now. I'm not too sure how we actually get them back. If we just say we allow this door. Honestly, A. Lambert, can you not do any of that work now and instead... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to make you idle, basically. There we go. There we go. Just Lovely stuff. Mate. Keep up the good oh, you bugger. Sponsor this man. We lost Sanubi. Ladies and gentlemen, Sanubi, one of the most generous donators this channel has ever seen, has died. Also a blood loss. So Nubi joined us from the start of this game as a absolutely lovely con, uh, just husky. And Tanubi, of course, died of blood loss. Um, it was the bite wound that caused that. And the lynx basically tore Tanubi, chomping on her head. How are you alive? Your head was bitten. I have so many questions, right? F in chat for Tanubi. That was devastating. A great loss for this colony. Big Dave, you best not start working on this immediately. Because I will need to actually... Yeah, I need to get Lambert through this first, so I'm just going to quickly prioritise. Uh, yeah, like conscript you up. And move you over here so that A Lambert can get through. And now you can start working on it. There we go. Basically, we don't want our prisoners accidentally going outside. It's too risky. Okay, prioritise building that cooler. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Is this the coffee channel? Oh no, my friend. You've, you've walked into the wrong channel, my friend. There we go. Cold snap is over. Ah, oh, so you know, out of that engagement, we have two new prisoners. Um, generic is dealing with an infection, but we should be able to save them. Avena is doing fine, other than the extreme blood loss. Stat dog, how are you doing? You're doing good now. That's good, stat dog. Stat dog, what are you doing? Oh yes, you're administering tea to A Lambert. Yes, that should make A Lambert a bit happier. Good stuff. And for generic and Avena, we'll just have them set to My force name work. Is not Avena. Also, good job letting me die now. I'm addicted to drugs I eat. <laughs> Heroin right now. Oh, Heroin. Savina! <laughs> How did I get that wrong? <laughs> Thank you very much for your donation again. Uh, so, yeah, Savina is in. Uh, I did accidentally let you die of blood loss, but you are now in as um, an addicted... A uh, staggeringly ugly person who is addicted. To, I would imagine it's probably the heroin that caused that. Stat dog, what's up? Oh, you saw a dead body. Ah, yeah, prioritize hauling them to the grave. Let's actually try and get rid of that. Yeah. I would imagine. I would imagine the prisoners would get upset if we had a ton of them. Free super chat, don't mind if you do. Shrimp sticks, thank you very much for your super chat. How very kind of you. Very saucy sausage donating two dollars. Thank you very much. And Diped, did you get your Wang back? Health? No, you're still waiting. Okay, I think we actually need to build a. I think we actually do need to craft a yeah, a reproductive organ. I'm not sure where we make them. Um, probably not there. Oh, Carlos, the cum is fully healed. Good stuff, Carlos. That's good. I'm not sure what we can even do with you. Oh, oh God, don't! Stat dog? Sanubi was bonded to you? Why are you butchering them and turning them into... Okay, I'm not going to question. That's fine. And naturally, Alchemy is in here eating all of our rice. Thank you, Alchemy. Very kind of you. <laughs> oh, this colony. It really is something else. It really is. Oh, goodness. Hey, Lambert, how are you doing, actually, when it comes to toxic buildup? Initial... That's fine. Initial. 
and I feel like oh no power ah yes we've yeah I forgot we are still going through a solar flare aren't we yeah which means we can't make any cloves which is annoying because we actually desperately need cloves like chase needs to be set to that number one I need chase oh he's sleeping at the moment but when he's not sleeping he needs to be making cloves honestly I'm thinking we make him make cloves anyway I'm sorry chase I'm gonna force you to wake up we need these parkers for this weather so there we go that is you made an excellent quality parker okay who's feeling a bit cold probably you uh, what are you like what even is your gear um, yeah you oh you have a parker so you have a parker so you're good uh, who doesn't Diped, I'm guessing you probably don't No. so Diped. oh you're gonna grab that already lovely stuff so yeah, we're basically putting massive like thick warm coats on all of our colonists to make them happy um, Dapper the scientist you could probably do one of these bad boys so when the next one gets built make sure you have it good stuff ladies and gentlemen is the stream delayed uh, it's delayed by about uh, five seconds I think um, something like that it's got ultra low stream delay which makes it slightly superior to um, twitch like it is super like super small the delay that we have on steam which uh, no, on YouTube which is really nice why do I keep saying steam instead of YouTube completely different anyway we need to deconstruct this bad boy because you guys will get upset about me having this heater here so yeah, we'll get rid of that and we can replace it with a I don't know probably a solid wall or maybe just a new heater yeah we'll just we'll just build one there that'll do that'll do nicely good stuff good stuff indeed can we get that door built actually you know eventually because it is making these bedrooms minus eight degrees I think it would probably be good if we did that harvest the prisoners oh yes um you know I would actually do that what is better, on, here or patreon? on here or patreon um I guess patreon has the longer term reward so you know if you're a patron you get ranks and stuff which is jazzy um yeah so patreon's good stream uh probably direct paypal's best in terms of conversion but yeah you know it's whatever floats your boat because you know all of them are different now i would harvest these organs there's just a slight issue with these prisoners um if i were to do so uh they would you know probably get a bit annoyed and also their blood loss is at extreme so i'd imagine that might be the final thing to kill them so probably not the best idea. Anyway, I think all of our colonists have Parkers. Do you have a Parker? Yes. Dapid, you have a Parker. Big Dave at Parker, Chase, Parker, and Parker, and Parker. Oh, thank you for, thank you for furthering the great organ cause. So thank you very much. That's very generous of you. Wow, 15 pounds, good lord. Very, very generous. Any of the Warhammer games? Any of the Warhammer games? Um, depends which one you mean. Dawn of War, yes. Total War Warhammer, hell yes. Um, so yeah, I played quite a lot. Yeah, I played probably quite a few. Yeah, I do enjoy them. They're good fun. Uh, also, A. Lambert is currently dealing with hyperthermia. Okay, maybe we might... Should we make Parkers for our, for our prisoners? I guess there's an argument saying we should do. But should we really? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I accidentally pressed the Windows key. That's not what I meant to press. Right. Um, what I want to do is get some wood chopped around here. Because these trees are slowly dying anyway. We might as well chop them. And that should be good. And with the wood, we should be able to start adding some heat back into these. Uh, yeah, just heat up this campfire here. Get everyone in here happy. Probably whilst Mark... Yeah, Mark is busy doing that. But once he's finished... Prioritise refueling the campfire. There we go. We want our prisoners to be happy. Uh, Lambert, what are you going to do? do you prefer donating here? Oh, this okay. is Sir Sticks. So, shrimp Sticks. Oh, thanks, Shrimp Sticks. Uh, for your generous £7.62 donation. Yeah, quite happy for you to donate via PayPal. That's very kind of you. It's very generous. Right, there we go. And um, I've now got A. Lambert set to doing... Ah, oh, there we go. Yes. Of course, because we had the solar flare, our T hydroponic crops died um, because they need power, otherwise the frost kills them. So there we go. They're now, they're now growing, which is amazing. That's absolutely phenomenal. 
Oh, this is glorious. So now we've got some more tea growing. We've got Big Dave intimidating them, which encourages them to work faster and harder. Yeah, this is brilliant. Oh, I'm honestly so impressed. I'm very proud of my little community. What? What's going on here? Grey Gorilla Chief has died, and so there's a new chief. Okay, that's just a random faction. Don't need to deal with that particularly. That's all good. Lovely stuff. And I suppose someone wants to work on that door. Or, I don't know, maybe clean up all this blood. Probably should work... Yeah, we probably should have someone cleaning up all of the blood. Uh, Big Day Vet, try and get rid of all that blood. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Can you create a farm for organs? Is it possible? Well, the issue with organs is once you take out someone's lung, they don't exactly grow another one. That is one of their major issues, yeah. But then again, I don't know. Maybe maybe it is possible to harvest organs, you know? Like Matrix style. Perhaps. Hmm. It needs investigation. Oh, God. They didn't build the wall. I know, we haven't got enough components, have we? Oh, bugger. So we need more components to build this. Otherwise, it's physically too cold in here to walk around. So... Oh, no, we have six components. Okay. Stat dog... Uh, can you please build the cooler? There we go. And can you deconstruct this one? And now we build a wall here. Lovely stuff. And this is bad boy set to 21. Yep. And so this area, once we get this wall down, will become a nice heated up area. And prioritize working on that one wall. Lovely stuff. And now this... Oh, suddenly it's getting nice and toasty in here. Lovely. Well, I say toasty. If you check here in the bottom right, it says we're at... Uh, about 11 degrees at the moment, which isn't bad. Now I'll take 11 degrees. The slaves can grow more slaves equals more organs. You've got it. <laughs> the more slaves, the more organs. Wow, the maths checks out. A group of travellers are passing by. Oh, we've got... Hawk, Dog, Librango and Banzo. Um, honestly, I don't know if we can take them. Oh, and look at all of these wild boars that have died due to extreme toxic buildup. Wow. They proper died. Wow. Yeah, all of the animals in this landscape are dead. There are just straight up no animals. If we check um, wildlife, there is nothing. Absolutely nothing. What? Oh, that is so bad. That is actually terrible. My god, right, stat dog, what are you... I'm pretty sure you had a work frenzy, which just means you're better at all work, and you do it faster. Wow, you are hauling tea at a ridiculous speed. And now you're playing horseshoes. Good stuff. Wow. And soon, eventually, these prisoners will be able to get up and walk around and join a Lambert. Signed up on Patreon and looking forward facing you in Solaris. Oh, signed up on Patreon. You want to join our Solaris games? That's good. Yeah, I want to try and organise another Solaris game soon. It's been a while since I've done one. And I kind of miss them because they're really good fun. So yeah, I'll try and see if we can get a, another another one growing, uh, another one going. Wow, we really can't grow anything at the moment. Like um, corn, it's just not the right season. Cannot grow bad seasonal temperature. Tea plants cannot grow bad seasonal temperature. There's nothing that grows at winter. That's terrible. Maybe bamboo. Can bamboo grow? No. Well, we really can't grow anything. That's a shame. What a shame. Oh well. Yeah, we've got Sphina up now. I guess we uh, just keep expanding the hydroponics area. <gasps> yes, this makes sense. I'll tell you what we can do. Um, I want to build another wooden door here, and then we'll have our prisoners basically mine and expand into this area. And we can fill... Yeah, we'll just flood this area with tea-based hydroponics. And that's, yeah, going to be used for our prisoners. So what we do is we set this to um, lock and basically say... Everyone can enter, excluding the prisoners. So there Where do we go. you stand on the cream tea debate? Cream, then jam the right Nothing. way, or jam then cream. Jam Where then the cream. Of Cornwall. Hmm. Where do I stand on the cream tea? Okay, so cream tea is a bit interesting. Um, personally, I don't have it, so I can't really comment on it that well. Yeah, I know people that do enjoy cream tea, but it's not really my kind of thing. But it is certainly the Cornwall thing. They have so much cream tea down there. Cornwall is just a bit weird. <laughs> slaves grow more slaves. Organs is organs. I mean, the maths checks out. Anyway, we're going to get some cables down here. Get some electricity running through. 
And then, um, you know, actually, maybe we could do with another solar generator because we did lose one. Yeah, so I'm going to see if we can get another solar generator up. And then we want some... Where is it? Let Lambert be security. Let Lambert be security. Oh, I suppose, yeah, we could make a Lambert... Yeah, we could um, have him do some security stuff and encourage the other prisoners to work better. That might work. Anyway, let's get some more hydroponics down. Oh, God, 100 steel each. Damn, these guys are expensive. Um, yeah, we're going to need more steel harvested then. How much do we have at the moment? Along the side, it's not showing. On the ground, it's not showing at all. So that, that probably means we have none. Right, where's our nearest steel supply? Here's some. That'll do. Let's try and get some steel mined. There we go. Lovely stuff. And then we'll also probably need some machine components, won't we? And where's our nearest set of those? All the way over here. Wow, that's a long route, especially with what's going on. Dapper, you can't stay outside for too long, remember? Because uh, toxic buildup is literally ruining this entire playthrough. <laughs> anyway, generics here. And they've done a lot of mining. Actually, you know what? This is a good idea. And I do know that if you're not careful, these places can collapse. So I'm going to build the occasional wooden supporting wall. Um, and then we should be able to... Yeah, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Uh, it's going to look horrendous what I'm doing. But we're going to... Oh, not mine there. That's a bad idea. We are going to mine out basically this entire area. <laughs> You're no longer a slave. That's true, Dalton Rome. You are no longer a slave, but um, you are still a prisoner, I'm pretty sure. Right. So uh, finally, our muffalo's up and running. Akona's back up and running. Akona's good old friend Al Alchemy is up and running. Their milk fullness is 1%. <gasps> oh my goodness, we actually have milk. We are actually getting milk from our from our lovely muffalos. That's incredible. Wow. Um, here's more funds for the Empire. Oh my god, Rare Night King. Jesus Christ, my mate, my friend. Um, that's a lot. That's another $99. Jesus Christ. Uh, this should help annexing Minnesota and in the future USA. Yeah, we'll start with Minnesota. You've just, yeah, you've eyed up Minnesota for me is the best place we can possibly go. So, yeah, we'll take Minnesota first. How's this mining going? Oh, the mining's going good. Oh, the slaves are doing great. Um, so now we want to set this structure. Give it some wooden walls. There we go. I've just joined going to make our excellent Yorkshire tea spin. Oh, thank you very much. Glad you've just hopped in. Go make that excellent Yorkshire tea, mate. Captain Weep 59, thank you very much. Uh, no, Captain Weep 56. You've got your tea. Here's towards a cup of tea for you. Thank you very much. That two uh, two pounds, that's going to go straight to a cup of tea. Area revealed. <gasps> We've revealed an area. It was here. Good area revealed. Well done, game. Well done. Well done. <laughs> anyway, we've got all this steel. This is great. This is actually incredible. And, oh yes, I remember I need to do zones and expand prisoner labor area. This all needs to be prisoner labor area. So basically, uh, that means all kind of like uh, commands given in this area can only now be fulfilled by prisoners. Uh, meaning our own colleagues won't bother mining this area. This is all only for prisoners. Oh, and winter has begun. Wait, winter's begun? That wasn't winter? That was horrendous! Uh, Kaz69MR donates 50 Danish kroner. You should try oxygen not included. Think you would like it. I kind of do want to try that. There's a fun glitch in the game where you can get infinite electricity, which I kind of want to try out. We'll support up to six tiles of roof. That's good to know. That's good to know. So yeah, this my crazy, disgusting, sporadic setup should work. Anyway, I need to make sure I go to my prisoners tab and give all of the prisoners the ability to work everything if they need to. There we go. Lovely stuff. Ooh, incapacitated refugee quest. Leo contacts you. She wants help. She's wounded, unable to move out your help. Leo is a 59-year-old medieval minstrel. She promises to join. Let's see where she is on the planet. Because 59-year-old is not a good investment. Okay, my colony is here. 
the community hub of the East Rimworld Trading Company, and she is over here. I'm sorry, Leo, that is too far away. That is way too far away. So uh, we won't be, I'm afraid we won't be able to reach out to you. But good attempt. Also, do we have anyone on the comms console? No, we haven't even had a single trade ship come by. This is terrible. I'm devastated. Oh, well. Oh, well. Hey, Lambert and Savina, you guys are doing good. Savina, yeah, you're set on force work. That's good. And generic as well, you're on force work. Although I notice... Oh, actually, you're growing... Are you attempting to grow tea? Yeah, they were attempting to grow rice here. No, that needs to be set to tea. Uh, we don't have the components to do this one. That's a shame. Have we got components from down here yet? No, no one's been brave enough to run all the way over there. Dapper, how's your health doing? Moderate toxic buildup. Okay. Dapper, I'm now going to restrict you uh, to area one, I'm afraid. We can't have you wandering outside, else you will die. Um, yeah, toxic buildup is a bit too extreme. Diped, minor break risk, what's up? Uh, serious pain, slept in the heat. Mate, come on, it's winter. Uh, sick, darkness, unsightly environment, and neutered. Uh, and now you're hungry. Well, go get some food, mate. We have food. Oh, we don't have too much food. Um, I feel like Stat Dog probably needs to be making more meals. Yeah, he is good. He's making a lot of food now. Good stuff. And he actually has a faster route to deliver the food now. He just goes straight down here, drops it in here. The reason we have the food over here is so that the prisoners can access it. Uh, it turns out to be quite useful. And the prisoners are looking for work to do, so uh, we're just going to have them... You know, we're going to have them clear out this entire area. Um, so kind of up to there. And then like so. And along the way, we're going to make sure to hopefully whack down some supports. If we forget, then the occasional prisoner is going to die. But you know, these things happen. SOS for America, we need better tea. That would be good. That would be good. We need to do that. <laughs> anyway, we've got machining now. So we can uh, make actual guns, which is good, finally. Um, and our new research, I'm going to say, could probably go for tree sewing. That might be useful. Hello there, Spiff. Hello. <gasps> Dragon Joe. But here's for the stream. Thank you, Dragon Joe. You generous repeat donator and offender. It's good to have you here. Lovely sausage. Um, very generous, £20. Very, very generous. I'm just going to start us researching gunsmithing so we can make better guns and hopefully uh, guns that are going to knock people out. That's the hope. Um, Zeran Derif donated £1.52. Don't let many a true nerd hear you call Cornwall weird. He built it into an empire. That's true, he did actually. I did enjoy his CK2. His CK2 stuff is great, honestly. Um, many, a I just enjoy many a true nerd series. I find them good fun. What's happening here? Generic is just consuming cherries. Okay. How are those cherries? Oh, you're rebuffed by Big Dave Ett. <gasps> Generic tried to get it on with Big Dave Vett. What is this? Social? Generic made a comment about botched surgeries to Big Dave Vett. <laughs> this Big Dave Vett did not particularly like that. But you know, they're actually getting on really quite well. Big Dave Vett is such a saucy people. Everyone loves him. Anyway, uh, we should probably whack down a, a, the occasional wooden wall. Probably a wooden wall here and uh, one down here. There we go. Lovely stuff. Hello, Autumn Sakaris and Derpy Spycrab. Nice to have you in the chat. Well, hello there, lads. Nice to you, Der, der Iron Bahahart. I think that's correct. <laughs> Lord Feed Me, Fed Me, donates uh, 50 Danish Krona via Super Chat saying, Here, have 200 post Brexit pounds. Thank you. I'll put those post Brexit pounds to good use. <laughs> oh, I love a good post Brexit pound. Oh, goodness. Right, how is working outside going? We best not have anyone with crazy toxic buildup. So you actually have none. You have initial, you have none, you have minor. Okay, Dapper, that's not too bad. And, oh, beg my pardon. Okay, you know, we're doing okay. Only Dapper has, has the issue, and um, he's the one we've restricted, so he should be fine soon enough. And anyway, we've got Mark. Mark wants to do a bit of mining. You know, that's fine. You do a bit of mining, Mark. Uh, the prisoners can get to it. There we go. So yeah, the prisoners wake up, and then what they do is they run on over here, and they start mining. I also noticed that Mark has technically trapped himself in, because we built a wooden wall behind him. <laughs> oh well. That's fine. 
That's fine, Mark. You enjoy that. <laughs> oh, goodness. And Big Dave Air is doing his main job, which is wardening. Basically, if he stands around, he just shouts and heckles the prisoners until they work better. Oh, it's good. It is very good. Look at them work very happily. <laughs> They're having a great time over here. We can technically enslave them, but slaves are a bit difficult to work with. Um, so that is a possibility, you know, for the future. Slavery is always a possibility for the future, you know. Oh, and we've got all this copper around here. Sorry, I mean steel. We'll allow that. As soon as we get some components going... I second, do we accidentally... Yeah, we accidentally made a hole in the wall. Right, that needs to be a wooden wall. Well, bam, there we go. Yeah, we don't accidentally want our prisoners sliding out of that little gap there. Oh, that would be a bit too tricky. What are you doing, Savina? You're sewing daylilies. Okay. You're just making the prisoners' quarters look even nicer. That's good. Ah. Oh. Good stuff. And you know what? I think uh, the flooring around here needs a bit of better. Yeah, it just needs a little bit of extra work. Uh, we need a wooden floor here and here. And probably there as well. There we go. Good stuff. Lovely. You know, this is going great. We've had really, real good progress today. Not too... like Yeah, we haven't lost too many people. Um, a new area is revealed. We haven't revealed an area. That's just the game being weird. Thank you, game. Oh my goodness, there's so much compacted steel here. Hopefully when the world isn't a toxic, irradiated mess, we can, you know, go and enjoy that. But for the time being, we can't. Mark, you seem like you're going to go for a break risk soon. Darkness, unsightly environment, ate without a table. You have a table. You're not disallowed to eat there. You can eat there, my friend. <laughs> Some people. Some people. Oh well. They're doing a good job. And we should probably build a wooden wall just about here. That should stop this area from collapsing. Good stuff. And uh, probably don't need one down here just yet. There we go. Good progress. Our prisoners are doing a great job. And we need to also get rid of all of these chunks. Lovely. You know, I'm very proud of this. Spiffing Brit, why sell organs when you can sell a whole person? Yeah, but you, the thing is, you can sell a person without organs for the same price. So you're just taking their organs away is a bonus. It is an incredible bonus. Well, actually, one thing we could sell, uh, not sell. I was thinking maybe we grow some heel root, but I realize probably not. Um, in the future, yeah, next growing season, we'll grow some heel root out here. Um, but here for the next season, we'll have probably not tea. That seems like we'd struggle to grow it in time. I'm going to say we'll have our prisoners growing cotton. That'll be fine. Some would say there's a few slavery things going on there. Should be fine. Anyway, our gunsmithing's now done. We can build incendiary launches if we wanted. That's pretty jazzy. Um, new research. Blowback operation. And then we can finally have gun turrets. Oh, mate, you love my... Oh, thank you. Okay. You want more Total Wars? Can do. I think the next Total War I'll be doing is Total War Attila, but I kind of want my new computer before then, because I've been discovering that it works best on a slightly better computer. What is happening here? A. Lambert is getting serious hypothermia. Oh, I guess outside is minus one degrees, and in here it is minus one degrees as well. Oh, it is quite cold in here. A. Lambert, don't get hypothermia. Please, come on. I need you alive, not dead. Oh, wow, you are, yeah, you are bleeding out slowly from frostbite. Maybe we shouldn't have them mining if they're slowly dying of frostbite, you know? Like, there are other things we can have them do. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, one thing we will do is give them a campfire in the middle. That should heat up the room that they're mining out with. That should do good. And we can give them a wooden wall, I guess. Uh, well, there's not going to make much of a difference, is it? Probably one here should do well. Okay, what's happening here? A. Lambert is no longer incapable of... <gasps> the worst of the toxic fallout has settled. Yes, finally. We've got gentle snow, but the toxic fallout is gone. That is actually amazing. Oh, we can finally go outside. Uh, restrictions, you're all free. Be free, my colonists. Suddenly, you can stretch your legs and see the world. I'm very happy with this. A. Lambert, are you, are you happy? No, I don't think you ever can be happy anymore. <laughs> You've lost quite a lot of organs, to be honest, so I don't blame you. Alright, stat dog. One thing I want you to do is probably prioritise... What are your... 
missions handling we can probably lower that a bit and cooking for you is going to be number one now I just want you making some food please that should be good oh but I'm so proud we've got we managed to trick a load of people from uh, other colonies to work in here oh you're right they need sun lamps don't they yeah needs light level 51 percent you know probably should have probably should have remembered that one yeah okay so we can slap down a sun lamp right here and that's going to cover all of them that is incredible lovely stuff uh what do we need for that i think yeah that one is just steel so um stat dog yeah you're busy on meals so we can't make you do it actually we probably can right stat dog prioritize working on that just grab some steel and go there we go so our sun lamps are up and running meaning these guys are going to be growing oh not ideal temperature Wait, do you seriously need food in do you need heat in here okay right we'll have to do that then um I guess we can have some, I was going to say rice plant growing in here. Uh, yeah, we'll have some rice growing in here just for fun. And it wants a better temperature, so I guess we give them a heater. I mean, it is heating up a massive space, so I don't think it's particularly efficient. So um, oh well, we'll manage it anyway. We'll heat this bad boy up. That'll be fine. We've got enough components now, I think. As in, we have eight, which is something. And with a campfire in here, you know, we've got a campfire in an area with no outflow. That's perfectly safe and fine, I imagine. There we go. So now we're heating this up a little bit. What are we at? One degrees. They're technically growing. Wow. Growth rate 90%. 100%. Yes. 134%. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hydroponics bays grow a lot faster than normal bays, don't they? Oh, these guys are great. Okay, I'm very happy with this. Yeah, now that we've got the indoor temperature, bam. Growth rate, 280%, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be some phenomenal tea growing. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, thank you very much, Nihileron, for that donation of 400 Huff uh, Hungarian florins to actually remind me that we needed sun lamps. That was very good. I would have forgotten that. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's a good beverage. Good beverage today. Ah. Oh. All right, how's our research going? We've got blowback operation, so that allows us to make machine pistols. Now we just want gun turrets. Oh, auto cannon turrets. Oh, I want one of those. Oh, I definitely want one of those. <laughs> I want an auto cannon. That sounds great. What's this? Prisoners aren't working. Lambert isn't working. Well, he's working a bit, but he is unmotivated. Yeah. Luckily, that gets fixed whenever a colonist walks by. And so, yeah. I basically came up with a few ways to cheese the game a bit. Um, so our prisoners don't work unless they see a colonist every once in a while. Otherwise they feel all the colonists have gone and they can just stop working. So if we actually have the food stockpile down here, every time my colonists want food, they come down here and eat it here. And when they do so, they swing by the prisoners. And because they spot the prisoners, they go, hang on a second, guys. Uh, well, yeah, because the prisoners spot the colonists, the prisoners remember, oh, we we are actually still prisoners and we do need to work. And so they do, which is very nice of them. Or maybe, instead of making simple meals, how about we make some fine meals? Or lavish? <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. Let's cook a few... Do until you have 10 lavish meals. And these are only going to be for our actual colonists, I imagine. If we go to restrictions, I think. It, is it restrictions or a sign? Yeah, food restrictions, lavish. Good, lavish, good stuff. And for my prisoners, what are their restrictions? Uh, their food restrictions can't be lavish. They need to have uh, simple. There we go. All of my prisoners need to have uh, basically good old simple food instead of eating lavish meals if they turn up. <gasps> Prisoner rescue quest, and it's a relationship, okay. What is this? What on earth is going on here? A prisoner being held by Lanham has managed to steal a radio. They're nearby. She says that there are two turrets and one mortar nearby and two enemies defending it. Oh, if we actually take that, that's good, because we could grab the two turrets and the mortar. Uh, so this is Lord Mosley. Okay, this is interesting, because um, Mosley is a sister of Stat Dog and the lover of Chase. Right. Okay, so they are nearby. 
That would take us a while to get to, and it is winter, but I think we could do it, because to get two gun turrets and a mortar would actually be really useful. Oh, I wonder if we do that. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think we should go for something like that? Oh, we got Veilfisk. So glad that we got Veilfisk in here. Name we have the Veilfisk Memorial stockpile, of course. So glad that I could name something after you, Veil. <laughs> oh god. Uh, but Smith isn't reading his chat. Doesn't know I'm here. Vale, I know you're here, mate. Oh, you want to do Lego Star Wars? Yeah, that's right. You wanted to do Lego Star Wars with me, didn't you? That'd be good. Oh, and I know some people would say, yes, we did promise to play Fortnite together when we hit 100k. And now I'm at like 300k and Vale's at like 150 almost, I think. Um, so, yeah. Where's, where, when we do Fortnite again, Vale? <laughs> I don't. I, I don't remember saying we do Fortnite Veil. Vale. I don't remember that. I don't. I don't remember saying that. No, different person. Different person. <laughs> no. No promise. Nothing. Veil. Vale, don't worry. They can't see the Steam messages you're sending into my DMs. They, they won't know. It's all good. Oh God. Oh, caravan request. Um, what's this? They want twenty-one tribal wear, not tainted, of normal quality or better. And in return, we get a legendary bow and a good LMG. That's not a good deal. That's a terrible deal. How am I meant to make 21 tribal wear? How do you make tribal wear? A oh, a spiffing sovereign tea. I like that. That is good. Oliver Maybrook, thank you very much for your $2. Oh, God. Spiff X Veil Fisk X Fortnite when... Oh, uh, no, <laughs> X-Fortnite, X-Fanfic when? Yeah, there is fanfic of myself and Veilfisk on the internet. That's really something. <laughs> uh, you know, I did actually enjoy reading it. It was a good laugh. Quite funny indeed. Uh, we're kind of running low on tea, actually. How much tea do we have left? I think we have 25... Oh, my goodness, we're running low on tea. We're really running low on tea. My God, that's not good. Why is the indoor temperature in here so high? We need to get that down. I think we need a second cooler in here. Uh, temperature, cooler, and we'll whack that bad boy down there. We'll get that sorted. Lovely stuff. Oh, bow, bow. Oh my goodness. Use double walls. Oh, yes. That's what we can do. Or alternatively, we could use non wooden walls. We could actually use walls with, you know, abilities and. Better features. Uh, now up here I was meant to kind of like make a guest area. Um, you know what, we really probably should. Really should. Oh. Sorry lazy. Oh, I'm sorry mate. Oh mate, I'm glad. Oh mate, I'm so glad. It's terrible to lose an animal, mate. It's never fun. They are, they're just like a family member, especially if they've been in your family for so long. That's devastating. Uh, 19 years, though, that's a really long life for a cat. They must have had an incredible existence. My goodness. Um, I'm glad my Age of Mythology video made you smile. I'm glad. It was good fun making that one. Uh, there was actually a segment of the Age of Mythology video, which you guys don't know about. Um, basically, Veilfisk actually came on board, and uh, he... <laughs> I did a multiplayer game with him where I used the same exploit and we had some good fun. Uh, I never actually added it to the video because I just ran out of time when editing it. But seriously, Lazy Rider, thank you very much for your generous donation of £50, though. That is huge for someone like me. It's absolutely massive. Also, now that we've got fine meals, how do our colonists feel about it? Like Dapper? Eight lavish meal, plus 12. That is incredible. Wow. We could harvest organs from you. If we maybe if we feed the prisoners lavish meals, we can take their organs. Like I mean, I remember when we took Lambert's organs. Lambert was like seriously messed up forever. He was really angry about it. He just really wouldn't let it go. Let's build another wooden wall here and another one here. There we go. We are creating an abomination, but you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right. Oh, and all of these need to be guests. There we go. Got some guest beds down. Hmm. I go to the prisoner camp? Okay, so are you guys saying go for the prisoner camp? 
Hmm. Maybe we go for the prisoner camp. Prisoner camp will provide him with a mortar or allowing him to do artillery only. That is a good point, actually. Harvest the organs and then feed them their own organs. Oh, that's a that's a pretty interesting move. <laughs> hmm. I suppose we have got some idle coal on this, so maybe yeah, we we suit them up and get them ready to move out. So what have we got? We got Dabheed. Um, he's wandering. He's got a pistol. He's not the best shot, but honestly, with his pistol, he's not bad. Uh, what is, what level was his pistol again? It's a good quality auto pistol. That'll be fine. Um, so we'll take Dipede with us. Uh, who else have we got? Big Davet is, of course, the legendary shot. He has 18 shooting and a normal bolt action rifle. Stat Dog is also another legendary shot, 17 and 17. And he also has a bolt action rifle. Uh, do we take anyone else? Mark, you're not the best. No, you're terrible. Chase, you're really good at melee, and that's all, really. And Dapper, Dapper, you're incredible at melee. Wow. Maybe I should take... No, I, I feel like I should leave Dapper behind. And in the future, we could give him a cattle prod. But Dipede, Big Day Vet, and Stat Dog can probably all go out on this adventure. Um, also, Chase, I can have you set... Oh, I can't have you set to cleaning. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, yes, let's form a caravan then. So, we go into the world. We click here. Oh, no. We click on here. Form caravan. Okay, we're going to want uh, Dipede. Uh, we want Big Day Vet and we want Stat Dog. Okay, that seems all good to me. Uh, we could take some prisoners with us and we can use them for fighting. Wow, I didn't realize generic was worth so much. They're worth so much. Svina, however, is worth absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's $175. <laughs> so sorry, Svina. You went from being probably a ridiculously expensive um, prisoner to being worthless. Wow. Generic, however, is honestly incredible. I have no idea why they're worth so much. But they're more valuable than some of my colonists. Anyway, so we'll take um, those three. We won't take any of the animals with us, although taking them is quite useful because um, they can eat. Oh, no, it's too cold, so they can't graze. Anyway, we'll grab some items with us. We want to take some uh, simple meals. Uh, so there we Not all of them. Uh, like maybe, uh, yeah, only 15.1 days worth. That's fine. Um, and any equipment? Well, they'll take the guns they're carrying. Do we need anything else? <sighs> There's not really much else we can have. Oh my god, we've got a dead Frumbo worth 14 grand. What are we going to do with that thing? Why is the dead Frumbo worth so much money? <laughs> no idea. That's fine. Anyway, yeah, that seems like a good caravan. So let's form that. Oh yeah, we need to choose a route, don't we? Choose route. Uh, you're going here. And out there. That's going to take 1.3 days. That's good, okay? You can go for that, and then accept, and away you go. Good stuff. So they're going to gather the items, although I don't think I... Yeah, they don't need to take any items, so they're just going to leg it off the edge of the map. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do it. Smith will never do Roblox even as a subs thing. Yeah, I don't think I ever will do Roblox. I have unironically played Roblox before, and I found it interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, not the best, to be honest. Not the best. Apparently we need a warden. So whilst we're away, um, I guess we can make... Are any of you good wardens? No, you're a zero. Okay, Mark, you have one in it, so you can be a warden technically. Oh, and also, we do technically need someone to cook food, but all of you have zero. So I'd honestly prefer the... the <laughs> I honestly feel that some of these... Uh, some of the prisoners are better at cooking than you are. So who's... Okay, we've got one for generic... Uh, a Lamba is two. What about... Okay. This is a big jump, but Svina, can you cook? Svina, you can actually cook. Cooking of six is not bad. So, for production, we're going to have you... Can you cook on a campfire? Bills. Add bill. Um, cook. Simple meal. Yes. Uh, do until you have... I am worth Tons. much only because of the value of the drugs in me. <laughs> Svina the is... <laughs> you have no incentive to sell me off. That is actually a good point, Svina. There is no incentive to sell you off due to how ridiculously worthless you are. That does make sense. Uh, so, Svina, you are now actually going to become head chef of the entire colony. Um, congratulations. You now no longer have to uh, just cook as much. Um, and with that... I'm pretty sure I need to actually allow you to have access to this area here. Um, so I'll need to somehow work that into the equation. 
Uh, let's build a wooden wall down here. And like so. Oh, not enough wood stored. That's fine. We can deal with that. Uh, like so. That seems wacky and fine. And then I will mine the way up here. And yeah, we can just somehow work our way in there. And build a roof area. Like so. Good stuff. Oh, what's this? Transport pod cr crash relationship. <gasps> wow, we got a new one. Um, we have an injured person. It's Sappy. They are, uh, they have carcinomia, major remission. God, so they're going to die, basically. <laughs> what are we even meant to do? We're going to have to basically remove their right leg, I'm pretty sure. Um, need serious pain. They aren't actually in immediate danger. Um, and they are the sister of one of the uh, people here, so that's fine. We'll have them then. Sapi is a recruiter, meaning they're, what is it? Their social is 15. That's incredible. And their cooking's not bad either, so... Yeah, let's have them in, um, and we'll have them working for us in no time. So, Mark, are you tending to Chase? Why does Chase need to be tended? Oh, yeah, the fibrous mechanites. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Uh, okay, go and capture Sappy. Sappy, we sadly can't take as a just straight-up colonist. We are going to have to, you know, uh, have Sappy be a prisoner for a little bit. Quite a little bit, in fact. Dapper, what are you doing? You're just drinking tea. Dapper? Oh, we don't have any wood. I forgot that. We need more wood. Chop wood. Chop wood. Find wood, chop wood. There we go. Good stuff. Chop all the trees. Right, Dapper, you need to go chop some trees, basically. Hey, anyway, we've got a sappy down. That's good. Uh, Mark is going to tend to them. Hello. Uh, hello, Sir Spiff. Is wine to be a king of tea? Oh! That's right, I am actually, I am almost so spiff now, yeah. I, yeah, I, uh, I didn't have time to do it before the RimWorld video to actually get my, um, wonderful knighthood, but yes, I should hopefully have a knighthood soon. Oh, and apparently, uh, a Kona has gotten sick from the flu, that's one of our muffalos. That's a shame. Anyway, we got Sappy in. Sappy is a 46-year-old space refugee who looks like they could be... Actually, they're just a good all-rounder. <laughs> I could always recruit you, that is true. I'm sweating. It is It is indeed winter, you are right. Also, I don't think you're sweating, because the room is only two degrees, so you're probably actually freezing. And it does make sense that you probably would want to be a colonist, because all the colonists get lovely parkers, um, whereas everyone else doesn't, meaning the prisoners are slowly freezing. But yeah, Sappy gets to be renamed, so let's rename Sappy. I'm going to go for... Let's check my list. Going down my wonderful list. We have... Oh, what we got going on down here? Goodness, there's a lot of saucy things going on. I think it only makes sense that we get Rare Night King involved. So, Rare Night Night King. There we go. We're bam. Rare Night King, the recruiter, you're in. Um, and you know what? They have good potential to be a chef, actually. Uh, so, yeah, this will be good, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm not too certain. Chase, you are feeling incredible. This psychic soothe must be insane. What is it? What is this psychic soothe? Uh, it is 16 psychic soup. That is phenomenal. Why is the tea crops dying? Outdoors. Oh, bugger. Oh, no. This needs to be a door. We don't have time to make it a wooden door. Make it a steel door. Chase, make the door out of bloody steel. <laughs> it's the only way. <laughs> right, go, Chase, go. We need to save the tea crops before they die. No, there we go. Oh, that was close. That was close. It's still minus 11, so the heat needs to get up. Come on, get the heat up. Get the heat up. That's fine. We'll get there soon, hopefully. Whew. Wow, there is no electricity getting generated. Oh, blocked by roof. That would probably be why. I imagine you have been shouting at me all this time. Right, so uh, we want to have remove roof area all the way here. There we go. No roofs, please. Oh, and a box good trader is passing by. Lovely. Okay, right. Now we get... Um, who's our best social person? You're zero. You're zero. And you're one. What is this? 
What is going on here? <laughs> Mark, you're the best we got. Let's do some trading. Oh. Let's see what we can get. They're full of cats. They've got a ton of cats. Oh my goodness. Wait, hang on a second. <gasps> Alchemy the Muffalo is pregnant. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. We discovered something wonderful. That means we're going to have more Muffalos. Lovely. I can't wait. That's good stuff. Um, what else we got going on here? We can sell... Well, selling Parkers isn't good. I'd like them. Uh, we could sell our excellent quality tribal slave collar for $40. Let's do that. Our tr herbal tea isn't selling that good. They only want 0. Yeah, 0. 0.6, mostly due to our negotiation bonus being so bad. But we could sell all of our tea for basically 200 But I'd like to keep the tea at the moment, so we won't. Um, leather, that's useless. Buying components would be good. Uh, I will actually take a few simple meals, because we are away, so we don't have any. Uh, have you got any medicine, perhaps? Medicine would be great. You don't have any. You're not accepting any of my colonists, and you're also not having any... Not You don't want my organs, which is a shame. That's a real shame. One thing you are offering, though, is a uranium slave collar. I feel like that's a great way of killing all of your slaves. And a steel explosive collar. Danger explosive... Fastened around the necks of slaves, when armed and activated, blows the slave's head off with a small but powerful bang. Uh, is is this is this all, is this allowed by the Geneva Convention? Is this okay? Is this a war crime? <laughs> <laughs> you got to buy, bro. Very well, very well. We, we'll buy that one. Oh, and they have got medicine. Okay, we'll take all their medicine. They've got flake as well, but I honestly feel that bringing drugs into this colony when we have our resident drug lord is a terrible idea. That's a, that's just going to lead to disaster. Instead, we'll sell off our... Let's sell off our dog leather. I don't want our colonists wearing bloody dog leather. Um, we need to sell some more, though. So we are going to have to sell our tea, I imagine. Tea's got to go. Thanks, Dragon Joe. I'll try it. Yeah, you know, let's name a willing worker after you. When we get our next willing worker, we'll give him your name. Thank you very much, Dragon Joe, for swinging by and your generous donation. Right, we'll sell our sim thread. We just need to get these costs down, basically. Uh, what else can we do? We can't... We could sell our camels, but come on. We don't want to get rid of Jesse Smith and Carlos the Cub. That's too rude. Um, so we'll keep them. We'll sell that. We'll get rid of our clothes then. I don't want to get rid of the Parker because realistically it's too cold. And that's fine. We'll just make a bit of a loss. Well, bam. And our trade goods have arrived. Good stuff. Where's our explosive slaves collar? <gasps> There's a snowman out here. Oh, someone made a snowman. That's cute. That's really cute. Oh, I'm very proud of my colonists. I'm glad they made that. Um, are the active colonists that I have assigned to plant cut? No. But they are now. Right, you best be looking after those plants. Bob Goods Trader, that's all sorted. How are our caravan doing? Okay, they are 0 0.6 days away. That's all good for me. Name a muffalo after me. Very well, Dark Gamer, when the mufflos are cr come into this world, I'll name a muffalo after you. <gasps> What's this? Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Right, this is an issue. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to need to decide this one. Name of my folo. I like that. That's good. Um, so we have an issue here. Um, a technician named Taki, Taki uh, calls you from nearby. They're being chased by pirates. Uh, they beg for safety. They're 51. Um, if we accept, we'll have to fight off three pirates, basically. Two drifters and a scavenger gunner. Um, do we do this, ladies and gentlemen? Accept, do it for the Empire. Make slash buy a cowboy hat equals better trade price because plus social skill. Oh, you're right. It actually does. <laughs> More organs. Kill them. Uh, death to pirates. I mean, actually, yeah. If we accept them, that's more people we can have in. Um, so, yeah. We'll offer safety because we can probably kill the pirates too. Right. Takey, you a good shooter. Six shooting, seven melee. My friend, we've only just met. But congratulations. You've just earned yourself... Yeah, we'll give you the good revolver. Takey, my friend, come on down here. Equip that good revolver. Also, all of these beds, cancel them. We don't need any of that. That's too much. 
Right. Um, I'm afraid, Mark, you are going to need to actually need. Uh, yeah, you are going to need a gun now. So I'm going to give you the revolver. You should equip that, please. You don't have much time now, Mark. And actually, for security reasons, mini turrets. Can I build them? Technically, yes. But we need free components. We do not have free components. Parkers and drugs and parkers and drugs and parkers. Parkers and drugs. Parkers and drugs and parkers. Oh no. And drugs and parkers. And drugs and parkers. Thank you, Savina. And drugs and parkers and drugs and parkers. Drugs and parkers. Oh yes, you can build. Parkers and drugs. Use the heater. Use the heater. Auto cannon turrets or artillery only. I don't want to get rid of a heater to fund an, a turret because we have these here. So I'm wondering if we, but it takes ages to get rid of compacted machinery, doesn't it? I didn't realize we had gold. Okay, that's good. We'll grab that. Um, yeah, we are going to actually have to take out a heater. And there's the explosive collar that I noticed we have. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's a good idea. Uh, right, okay, we're going to have to deconstruct one cooler and we'll make it the freezer cooler because most of our food won't go off. Here comes the raid. Okay, uh, Mark, priority, deconstruct that. How long is it going to take? Take it, you're coming in, good stuff. Um, you know, this indoor area is fine. We'll deconstruct one of these and we can deal with it later, um, the time being. Take it, what are you doing? Oh, you're grabbing a parker, good stuff. All right, deconstruct that, please. Um, a group of travelers are passing by. I didn't see that coming, that's good. Uh, okay, right, we don't actually have time now because they're right here. So one has a stabby thing, one has a survival rifle, and where's the other? The other has a club, okay. What do you like? You're good, you're good, and you're good at not melee, which is what you've got. Right. Okay, Mark, I want you to come up around this flank here. Um, Takey, probably stop trying to dismantle that and instead come back out here because they're trying to stab my camel and I'm not happy with that. Chase, you've got the Molotov cocktails, that's a terrible idea. Instead, I'm going to give you uh, the plasteel knife that we have lying around. Grab that and I'll send you out there to stab Wolf basically. So equip and go stab them. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the only one we don't have now is Dapper. Dapper, I want you to ready yourself and bring yourself around here to the colony. There we go. Oh, Carlos the come. He tanked the hit and Wolf is down. Good stuff. Right, we'll come around this corner. Oh my god, they're beating up my lovely... They're beating up my wind turbines. The bastards. Right. Oh, well, we're chasing them. Oh, Chase. Um, you know what? Don't go into melee combat with that person. Takey, I'm going to need to improve that shooting. I'm going to need you to improve that shooting a bit sooner. Um, although the good news is once we get rid of Crisk, I'm pretty sure they're just going to flee. Oh, hang on a second. It's Jesse Smith for the rescue with the distraction play. Yes, the distraction play worked. Right, Chase, now's your chance. Come on in. That's a headshot. That's a kill. And they're fleeing. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> the backup squad did it. <laughs> they defended the colony. We've gained a colonist. And we've also got Wooly down, who's a gamer. Oh, epic gamer. Um, they're just a 19-year-old game fanatic who's an intellectual, does shooting, crafting. Congratulations, you're just going to end up in the mine shaft, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm not going to give you any anything else. Um, that'll be fine. And um, also in the mine shaft, because we don't have much wood. We'll just start building walls out of steel. That'll do fine. There we go. Steel walls. Um, so, yeah. Now we capture Wooly the Gamer. And um, that's another prisoner, ladies and gentlemen. This is great. That one event, two colonists we now have. Um, so I'm pretty sure... What? Dragon Joe wanted what? Dragon Joe wanted a colonist, if I remember. So Dragon Joe... I'll give you te I'll give you Takey the Technician, because he's actually quite useful. Uh, so congratulations, Dragon Joe. Because you have been a very long-standing member of this channel. So bam, you're in as the technician. That's a raid complete, we've done it. Prisoners aren't working because they're not motivated. They will be soon, don't worry. 
we'll, we'll find a way to motivate them. And the freezer is doing good. We need to get that freezer back up and running. Um, kind of was a waste to get rid of that cooler now that I realize it. But oh well, that's fine. You make mistakes sometimes. And I guess we, yeah, we could do more components. So we'll improve the mining going on here. People are saying you placed air conditioners, not heaters. Oh my. Oh God. Oh. <sighs> right. I've just discovered something. Ah. Oh. So, ladies and gentlemen, to heat up this area here, Instead of building a heater, I've been building coolers. Coolers. Bloody coolers. There we go. I wondered why this wasn't getting warm. <laughs> right, deconstruct all of these. We'll only need one, one of these to keep it cool in the, uh, I guess, summer. Oh my god. I am a bit of a melon sometimes. Anyway, we've got Woolly in. Um, that's good. They're in. Uh, so now we need to name them, I guess. So let's go down my list. Oh my goodness, what have I done? <laughs> oh, the things I've done. All right, who have we got? I guess we should probably have, throw a Lazy Rider in. Lazy Rider, I'll drop you in. If I have to work with a 19-year-old gamer in a mine, I'm gonna stab him and carve his <laughs> bones into a bong and get high off the fumes of his rotten corpse. <laughs> Lazy rider. So we've been telling you about the air conditioners this entire time. I know you've been telling me about the air conditioners this entire time. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Uh, so, yeah. Lazy rider. Things aren't doing well for you because... Uh, your co-prisoner has just declared that you're going to be an enemy. Good old, good old drug snorting uh, Savina has just said, "You know what, lazy rider, you're not going to last long, my friend." Rare night. What? What's up with you? Why are you in bed? Oh, minor hypothermia and your major remission of. Are we going to have to remove your leg? I feel like we have to remove your leg. Yeah, we're going to have to install a peg leg on your right leg. Yeah. Excise carcinomia, right leg. Actually, no, we'll just do insert peg leg. There we go. And we're going to need to give you some normal medicine for that, otherwise, you will probably die. Oh, my goodness. And cargo pods, what do we got? What do we got after all of that? Of course, we got a ton of bear skins. That's great. I was like, whoa, tell you what we need right now it's bear skins. What's happened now? Where's all my electricity gone? Oh, no, the sun's going down. Oh, generating new map for an encounter. Okay, here we go. Bam, paused. Uh, relationship sorted and prisoner camp. Jump to the location. Okay, so now we find ourselves in the prisoner camp with our three lovely heroes. Big Day Vet, Day Peed, and Stat Dog. So we just want to quickly move away from the edge of the map. Otherwise, we get killed. Um, we can see Mosley in there, who is wearing the slave collar. So we will need to free them. Um... What do we got? We've got a wild wolf. That's fine. That is a gun turret, and that is a mortar. Loading in incendiary shell. Are they shooting at us? Shit. Run. Okay. How many incendiary shells do they have? Five. You know what? I think we could probably take that. Yeah. I think we could do this. All right. We're going to run everyone down south. Dodge the shells. Just dodge the artillery when it fires. And we're going to run them across the bottom, basically. And we're going to target this mortar. Of course, you can't get too close to the edge of the map, otherwise you just straight up die. Um, actually, I think Stat Dog can shoot from there. Yeah, so Stat Dog, you shoot. Big Dave, dodge that turret, please. And um, Stat Dog, don't hit the gun. Hit the person on the gun. Dapede, hit the person on the gun, please, as well. Why can't you hit Dankman? There we go. He's literally called Dankman. 
Oh, wait, are you getting shot? Right, Dappy, just stand uh, to the just stand to the left, mate. There you go. Now we're good. Big Dave, can you shoot from there? Yeah, you can. So their gun turrets can't hit us. There we go. We've just killed the person on the mortar, so the mortar's now ours. Uh, now I guess we just flank on up the side. And yeah, there's Sheckley. So let's focus on Sheckley. And Sheckley's dead. Wow, that was one hit to the head there. We're doing great. Press F if you subscribe. Oh yeah, press F. <laughs> oh god. Right, so we'll claim that and we want to deconstruct this. And um, can we claim this? Uh, I'm pretty sure if we do orders, claim, just take all of this. Say that all of this is ours. There we go. And what we'll do is... Um, oh no, sadly we can't take the uh, turret, but that's fine. Uh, I think I will deconstruct all of these like solar panels though. Because I'm pretty sure we can recycle the components out of there. But yeah, please do kill that turret. Oh, Dopeed, you can't get in range of the turret. Christ, uh, that was a big explosion. Um, right, now you guys just move up and I'm going to need you to take up that other turret. Uh, Dopeed, however, you can uh, free the prisoner and they'll join us. This is a good sign. You know, this has gone great. Absolutely great. Very proud of this. We've also got all this food here, which is nice. So we go. We've now got Mosley. Mosley's joined us. They have got a slave collar on. I'm probably going to make them drop that. Yeah, you don't need that. Uh, so there we go. That's all gone. Uh, who wants Mosley, actually? Let's give Mosley to someone. Bam. What do we got? Let me check my list of lovely majestic sausages. Uh... Basically want to try and get in as many people as possible, but it is kind of difficult because a lot of you have been incredibly generous this evening. Uh, I think Mr. Cliffgriff is in. Mr. Cliffgriff. Wabam. Mr. Cliff. Griff. Bam. You're done. And Mr. Cliffgriff, you are a... You can't shoot a gun to save your life, but... You have an annoying voice, you're very abrasive, you're an undergrounder, but hey, you know how to do plants, so you'll do good with them. And Mr. Griff, probably don't stand outside, because I imagine the turret is going to shoot you. Uh, but Dipede, whilst you're here, uh, deconstruct that. Uh, oh, you're not assigned to construction, so you can't. What are you doing? Oh, you're just sleeping. Fine, have a, have a sleep then. That's okay. <laughs> Mr. Griff, uh, can I assign you to do... Uh, where are you? Mr. Griff, can you do construction? There we go. I would like you to deconstruct. Prioritise deconstructing all of this stuff. And this turret is almost dead. There we go. And now you guys are freed up. Go do some deconstructions. We've got some fires. Why have we got a fire back here? Who knows? Who knows what is going on here? Right, um... Uh, prisoners, can I wake you up to... Uh, no, I can't, but... Uh, everyone needs to be set on firefighting number one. I'm I can't... Get oh, so damn, high I can't. Off of those bear skins. Getting also high off those bear skins. Is hoping someone dies. That's... Uh, to fill the void. It is possible. It is possible. You don't know. You, you never know, Savina. It is possible that you might... Oh, God. This fire spreading. Uh, please save the hydroponic base. Save them. Save them. Stop the fires. There we go. Thank God. Wow. Um, but I need this roof area cleared out, actually, because I realise I have completely messed over the zones here. So this needs to be a removed roof area. So why have we got a roof here? I don't know. I don't know. Right, Dapper, I'm just going to have you set to do basically anything, uh, because I'm not sure what you're good at, but... Whatever you want to do, just give it a try. Okay, except cook. You'll do terrible with that. Um, lazy Rider, the gamer, is no longer incapable of walking. Classic gamer, good stuff. Oh, we need more electricity, basically. Um, so for power, can we have... Oh, we have a geothermal place. We have so many geothermal jet uh, vents, so it would make sense to do that. But I'll get another solar panel sorted. And what's the matter? Yeah, we'll have another one. There we go, that should do good. Yeah, blocked by roof, basically. So I've beamed myself with these roofs. The coffee drinkers set fire. We must root out the corruption. <gasps> What's happening here? Visitor. A random visitor. They have a few items to trade. Okay. Mark, you're terrible at social. Actually, wait, no. 
if I remember correctly, uh, Dragon Joe is good at... So no, they, they can't physically social. Right, it's up to Mark, our legendary level 1 social. Have they got anything to trade? They have some packaged survival meals. You know what? We'll take them. In return, we'll sell them a short bow because we have no use for primitive weapons. And we'll sell them, not the Parkers, because that's useful. We'll sell them Molotov cocktails. We won't need that. They've got a cloth bowler hat. <gasps> Improved social impact. <laughs> we won't do that, but that does look pretty fun. There we go. Good trade. We've got some food. A mad turkey. Seriously. Okay. All right, Dragon Joe, you're not a bad shot if I remember correctly, so congratulations, you're on, tur you're on turkey killing duty. And if I remember correctly, I need to go over to the world and see how you guys are doing. And hopefully, if you guys are ready to go, um, we'll allow those. Oh. Oh, you didn't uninstall the mortar. You deconstructed it. So we don't have the mortar. <sighs> right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll forget I did that one, okay? We'll forget that one. <laughs> so many dick ripping moments. <laughs> this is devastating. Actually, before I go, we should probably grab a gun for our new colonists. So, quick cancel, zoom in. And uh, Mr. Cliff Griff, uh, what have we got? Good pistol? That'll do. I don't know if you're a good fighter. No, nope, you're trash, but hey, you're going to have it. And uh, oh, we'll also grab these simple meals. They can come with us. Uh, so, yeah, this seems good. We'll get some components out of this. And we don't need them to steal slave collar. Well, we can take all the food of us, why not? Okay, that's fine. I think we've done good for this world. And reform caravan, grab everyone, uh, grab all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's grab the berries, components, components. Incendiary shells we'll take. They're quite heavy, but that's fine. Um, steel, we don't particularly... Oh, 100 steel, though. That would be good. That cripples us, so we can't. That's a shame. Um... Don't take the bodies. Oh, we could take an entire battery. It's 20 kilograms. Uh, why not? Uh, don't take the bodies. We'll take all the meals. Leave the rice behind. Got the incendiary shells. I think that does look like just about everything I want. Uh, yeah, that seems fine to me. Good stuff. We got the food we need to get back. We can move 12 tiles a day. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. Okay, so we hit accept. And then uh, caravan is reformed, and we want to send them, tell them to enter here, and they should get there very soon. Lovely stuff. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That wasn't bad at all. We've done really quite well. Although we have two extra colonists, which means we're going to need to... Um... Wait, Dragon Joe, can you kill that turkey, please? I forgot we had the turkey thing going on. Dragon Joe, have you not landed a single hit? <sighs> Mark, have you got a gun? It's turkey time. Mark, why is the turkey able to run faster than Dragon Joe? This makes no sense. Right, just cut him around this bush. Oh god, the turkey got a hit. How has the turkey got a hit but no one else has? Okay, Dragon Joe finally got his hit on the turkey. It hit the neck of the turkey. To be fair, the turkey does have a large neck, if I remember. Run, don't get pecked. You got pecked. And also, Mark, don't hit Dragon Joe. Is it a bad idea that I gave Mark the level 2 shooter a gun? Oh god, don't hit the sandbags. You're not yet. Run this way. Don't hit Dragon Joe. Mark, can you take the kiting instead? No, you can't. Alright, kill that turkey. There we go. <gasps> Finally, Mark, you got the hit. Got the hit. There we go. That's another hit. And they're dead. Oh, thank god. Alright, looks like we're having some Christmas turkey today. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> this game is just one bloody adventure after another. Oh, Thanksgiving turkey time. It's. I'm going to take another sip after this. Mm. Oh. I'm noticing none of the prisoners are building up these, uh, these steel walls, which is leading me to believe that there's going to be a cave-in soon. Uh, so I'm going to actually have Chase build them, because otherwise I think we might accidentally die. Uh, so yeah, build up these steel walls. There we go. No cave-ins now. Should be safe. Ah, oh, good progress. And Dapper, he's cut, finally cutting down trees, which means um, we'll get that wood we needed. 
And eventually, we'll even think about building this steel mini turret. I know. That'll be crazy. We can probably cancel that. We won't need that. Lovely stuff. So you're recruiting people in the middle of winter when food production is low. I'm only doing so because we have like a thousand... Yeah, we have 2,267 potatoes lying around. And... Oh no, that's rice. Uh, yeah, and we have about a thousand potatoes. So yeah, food isn't particularly low. It's just our ability to grow... Well, to make food, which is doing particularly poorly. Um, who was cutting trees? Dapper, you were cu cutting trees, right? Dapper, I would like you to refuel the campfire because as soon as you do that... I'm pretty sure, in our prisoner tab, Lazy Rider, are you a cook? No, you're not. But, Rare Night King is, and so is Savina. And both of you are going to do learn all about the joy of cooking on campfires. So there you go, we're bam. And, um, maybe you'll do it? I'm not sure. Maybe if I go to work and... Or you basically just say that you won't do anything else. So Savina... You're not going to do anything else. You're only going to be able to cook. And that does mean we're going to need to get some raw resources down here, which means raw food. Let's go for vegetarian. I would like rice. I want all of our rice to be stored down here. And hopefully that means A. Lambert is going to start um, making simple meals because A. Lambert has access to this stockpile. Right. Okay, have we got anyone that's free to haul? Dragon Joe, you're healing up after the turkey attacked you. Um, but honestly, I think you can walk, so... Um, actually, is this critical? No, it's important. And can someone please build this cooler? Have we just got no one that's good at construction? I guess, yeah, no one is particularly great. That's a shame. I'll throw my tea into the harbour unless if you notice me, Senpai. Bourbon Bear, I notice you. Don't throw your tea in the harbour. That would make me so sad. Right, there we go. Campfire's up and running. How's the bills? The bills are technically there. Cook simple meals. Details. Uh, not suspended. Any worker. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can actually have them set to cook. Hmm. I'll have them set any worker and we'll see if they are technically able to cook. So I'm, something tells me they are. But there's a, there's a, there is a chance that they actually can't. I was going to up this, yeah. Uh, this can be set to normal, actually, instead of important. Actually, yeah, just standard normal. There we go. Lovely stuff. And now the rice is here. So hopefully uh, the prisoners will start making their own food. And also the food for the entire colony, which will be very nice. I'm excited for this. It would make Spiff salty. Don't make Spiff salty. Spiff is... Oh, it would make Spiff very upset if you threw the tea in the harbour. I mean, it wouldn't make me salty. It would just make me exceedingly disappointed. Right. Uh, we have 17 components. Now I just need to locate our best constructor. Construction 8, Chase. It's going to probably be you. Build another solar panel. Manhunter pack. What? Seriously? A manhunter pack of four beavers. Right, I want this turret built. Uh, Dragon Joe, what's your construction like? F uh, four, seven, eight, and one. So, Mark, I know you're asleep, but uh, build that bloody turret. Because Chase is busy making the solar panels. Uh, speaking of, Chase should probably also Let do this. Let me use an electric stove to cook this food, you fool. Also, give me some drugs. Oh, electric stove to cook the food. Well, I suppose, but you should be able to work. Oh no, Savina, you are doing it. <gasps> You're cooking it on the campfire. Savina, you are making the food. I'm so proud. You did it, Savina. Mark failed to build the turret. Some resources have been wasted. And now the Alpha Beavers are coming. Oh, God. It's happened again, hasn't it? The Alpha Beaver's made it all the way inside. Oh, God. Mark, um, Chase, I'm going to need you up. Chase, fight the Alpha Beavers. Dragon Joe, I'm going to need you over here. It's just going to be a melee scuffle, I'm afraid. Um, <sighs> Dragon Joe, you're involved. Dapper, you're... Yeah, Dapper, whereabouts are you? All the way down... Oh, all the way over here. Okay. Actually, yes, you can flank behind the Beavers. That makes sense. 
Uh, right, come on, Chase. Go for that one. There we go. Double double team on the beaver. Good stuff. Now, both fight this beaver. Mark, your shooting is appalling. Dragon Joe, you're coming in for the assist. Don't hit our own batteries also, for Christ's sake. Mark, okay, it's best you just don't even shoot. God, it's risky even putting anything in your hands. <laughs> it's so, there's just such a high chance that you'll just kill people. And also prioritize roofing that... Move, uh, yeah, just remove that roof area, finally. Right, Chase and Dragon Joe, I want you to come outside and kill this alpha beaver. Dapper, you, you handled that alpha beaver great. And now I can free up these doors. So there we go. They're free. Mark, dodge that beaver. And Chase, uh, you can kill it. Please. Uh, is it still angry? Yeah, it is maddened. Uh, so Dragon Joe, uh, too close. Chase, uh, melee attack the Alpha Beaver. Dragon Joe, fire at Alpha Beaver. Yes, it, it would be a fantastic idea. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're bam. Oh, we finally saved everyone. Well done. Conley saved. Whew. We managed it. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Another deadly man, uh, like, alpha beaver attack. Speaking of which, we can add alpha beaver to the menu. So alpha beaver meat is going to now get hauled into here. Uh, once it gets butchered, I guess. Uh, let's, yeah, butcher table. Just forever butcher creatures, please. Ah, oh, goodness. There we go. Another, another solar thing is up. Mark, oh, you've gone to heal yourself because you got injured. And yeah, you'll choose to do that. Oh my god, you're bleeding out. Uh, right, is anyone else an okay doctor? 11 medical on Dapper. Right, I did not realise that. Dapper, congratulations. You have now just become head scientist. Sorry, no, head, head medical man. Go heal Chase and uh, Mark, please. Oh, you know what? This is actually going rather well. Oh, we've got Autumn's Courage in chat. We've got two Minty Too Fresh. Minty! Good to have you here. War Merchant from the Creek. Okay. We've got a War Merchant nearby. They'll hang around the colony for a bit and then they'll leave. That's cool. We have a War Merchant. So we go. That's someone tended. Dapper, can you now come tend Mark? There we go. Where's everyone else? Oh, they're almost here. Oh, this is good. Right, we're almost safe. And hopefully when people come back, we can finally prioritize clearing up this roof. Dragon Joe, actually. Would you like to prioritize clearing this roofing area? And Dragon Joe, uh, you know what? You shouldn't cook. I know you've got four in cooking, but that doesn't mean you should cook. My god, just prioritize doing all of the roofing area. There we go. He's doing it. Caravan has arrived. Nice. Oh, yes, our caravan. Good. So that means we have, um, I'm pretty sure, our entrepreneur... Is good at social and so is chase no chase is terrible at social but um certainly big dave Ed is a good trader so big dave Ed is going to come and have a chat with this caravan person and we'll see what we can trade this is good wait this isn't twitch i know what's happening here All right let's see what we can trade they will sell us wolves and boom rats and herbal medicine and pemmican honestly pemmican is not bad but our colonists would go through that really quickly in return, they take our parkers, and that's about it. I've got to be honest, not really, not really offering the best. Um, yeah, there's not really anything I want there. I mean, we do have some gold that we could sell them, and we probably should, but the gold isn't hauled anywhere at the moment. Uh, so maybe if I get Big Dave and tell him to prioritize hauling the gold, we'll sell off our gold, and yeah. Make something jazzy. Oh, also, we're going to need a place for our... Yeah, we need a new bedroom for our two new colonists. So, architecture, structure, how much wood do we have? 92. Okay, we're going to need to cut down some more trees in the future then. There's hardly any trees. Okay, we're going to need to research how to grow trees then. <laughs> okay, but gas operation is coming along. We'll switch from gas operation to tree sowing. Actually, no, we might as well finish it off. It's so close. Um, so, yeah. Soon, we'll be able to actually uh, build buildings out of wood. For the time being, no. Uh, but, that yeah, I can't burn for all of our steel building out of steel. So, we're going to need to build a wooden wall. 
and let's build some bedrooms I'm gonna say yeah we can probably add them on here like just build them like so and down and down and we can give them a little corridor and split it in the middle and that seems fine there uh, we go we finished gas yeah we finished that gas operation we'll now do tea sewing no not tea sewing tree sewing completely different uh, so there we go we got that down and then we'll want some steel doors so I want a door there one there and one there and I would like temperature to be equalized between here and here and here lovely and hopefully eventually we'll get this bloody heater built because at the time being with everyone being away for so long it's been an absolute bloody mess. Oh, oh and also our guests. Um, we should probably allow it so that we um, uh, try to entertain. Yeah, we'll entertain them. We won't try and recruit them, but we will entertain them. Good stuff. But now we've got everyone back. We've got our gold, so let's grab Stat Dog and tell Stat Dog to come over here. Wait, Stat Dog's sleeping. Oh, did Stat Dog lose his bed to someone? Yeah, Dragon Joe has taken Stat Dog's bed. Great. Uh, so Stat Dog's going to come over here, try and talk to them. And actually, not. We'll we'll alleviate some of these beds for our colonists for the time being. And let's trade. Good stuff. And we will get rid of our. Oh wow, they don't actually want the gold. Hmm. That's impressive. I'm not quite surprised by that. Oh, we can get rid of our crappy clubs. Yeah, we don't need those. That's what, free silver? I'll take it. That's fine. <laughs> That's all good with me. All right, I think some of our colonists have beds now. Um, oh, our bloke enjoyed his stay. He left behind free medicine. That's nice. They'll visit again in a few days. Okay, that's good. We improved some relations with a faction. Guests or guests? That is a good question, chat. Uh, it's probably going to be the latter once we get a few turrets up and running because as soon as you start borrowing your guests suddenly people start noting and they get upset and so on and so forth but if you just outright attack them it's fine right work i'm gonna want someone basically set to construction um so stat dog you're now number one construction and your cooking has been lowered in priorities because we now have prisoners to do the cooking for us speaking of which let us actually give them a room for such a thing um I'm thinking we go production and give them a electric stove. Oh, we don't really have the components to spare. A fueled stove, even better, even better. You can have a fueled stove with light, and you know what? We'll even give you. I know this is great. We're going to even give you a chair. You get a chair to work on. We're so kind. And temperature. We'll give this ridiculously massive room a heater. That's fine. This will be fine. Roof collapse. Some things that would crust, sandbags, components. Where did it collapse? Here? Hmm, I'm not too sure. But hey, we had a roof collapse somewhere. Okay. Um, don't know where that happened. Uh, rescue rejoins. Yep, done all of that. Need recreation. Okay, apparently we need to add in some recreation to some of these uh, work modes, or work times. Where is it? Recreation. Everyone will have two hours of mandatory fun time. There we go. Don't you mean voluntary laborers? Yeah, they are all voluntary laborers. Right, this is lovely. This is all getting sorted. I'm so proud. And of course, yep, we'll set all of this steel to be hauled away. But we have endless amounts of steel. Um, we are going to need that campfire refueled because without it, uh, yeah, without it, the workers can't create food for us, you know? Yeah, the workers. I care about those workers, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. Finally, uh, Savina can get back to work. Well, actually, they can soon. There we go. Mark's building that wooden chair. Stat dog. Add fuel to that stove. There we go. And now, Savina, you can probably start working. Good stuff. And I'd imagine we'll probably also need our warden back up and running. Yeah, Big Davet is our pro warden. No one else needs to particularly do wardening. We've got Big Davet, the legend. Oh, Tantrum Dragon Joe. No. Dragon Joe's throwing a tantrum because of poor mood. He's going to destroy the Frumbo Horn. 
The Frambo horn is worth seven hundred and thirty dollars. Oh, you, you, what have you done? <sighs> All right, Dragon Joe is just going to destroy the single greatest item we have. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do. Dragon Joe's gone and done it. Thanks, Dragon Joe. Glad you had your tantrum. You just broke the most valuable thing in here. <sighs> Some people. So rude. So uncivilized. Anyway, um, we yeah, I know I've got the cooler thing set up here again, but you know what, it's fine. This area is actually getting 21 degrees, which means it's a nice, warm working environment. Uh, which, yeah, all of our lovely colonists are going to probably... Well, not colonists, some of, yeah, not them. Uh, our prisoners are going to have a great time working here, cooking simple meals, do until we have 40, okay? You guys get to work. I need more of you making meals. So we're running technically low on food. Um, right, maybe I should have some normal people doing food. Like Stat Dog, if he has time, do some food. Animal Disease Plague. Carlos the Cum has the plague. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we need to make a decision here. Okay, Carlos the Cum is lovely. He has saved us. He saved us from the Alpha Beavers, remember, and the Pirates. Um, but with the plague, there is quite a high chance he will simply spread it to everyone else. So we need to be careful. I mean, we have... Our, our muffalo has almost given birth. So if we're not careful, our lovely camel here is going to endanger the lives of everyone. So, do we kill them or do we not? Do we kill them or do we not? Because the choice is yours, ladies and gentlemen. The choice is yours. Also, I need to make sure I build a roof over this area. Bam and bam. Just make sure that you guys don't decide that this should be outdoors. It shouldn't. That'd be a terrible idea. There we go. Ah. Oh yes, there we go. We've sorted all of those out. So, uh, power. Let us run a power conduit round here. And these rooms can now have... Where is it? Uh, furniture. A standing lamp here. A standing lamp here. And we will also give them a standard wooden bed and a wooden bed. And because we're so incredible, we'll even give them a floor. So there we go. Let's give them some wooden floors. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think this has been enough for one day. We've done a good job. If you've enjoyed it, please do give the stream a like. Thank you very much for all your generous donations. And I'll whack on the names of some of our top donators onto uh, next week's... Uh, well, whenever I next do a remote stream. Probably next week, hopefully. Uh, yeah, work your names on so that hopefully when we get more people in, we can give you a name and get you in the game. But yeah, uh, certainly welcome to all the new colonists that have joined. And uh, do you want to kill the camel? Quarantine the camel with Dragon Joe first thing. I mean, we don't have to. We can just get rid of them. Alrighty, last donation till last I get donation. your Patreon at the end of the month. Oh. One last question as well. What is your favorite game to play? Hello, Dragon or make videos for as of late. Uh, favorite game and to make videos of as of late. Hmm. Probably favorite game. Uh, I would say. Oh, that's quite difficult. I'd probably say RimWorld. I do really enjoy RimWorld. It does sync up a lot of my time, uh, and it I do enjoy making videos on it. It's kind of one of those games I can go back to all the time. And Dark Gamer, uh, Dragon. I think Dragon Joe needs his gentleman sausage. Wait, does, is Dragon Joe missing it? I thought Dragon Joe had all of his organs intact. Yeah, Dragon Joe's fine. He's got his organs. We can get rid of it, but uh, probably not. Anyway, right. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, we'll see all of you in the next one. Hope you have a lovely evening. Uh, special thanks to all the patrons and donators. You've been very kind. I'll see you all later. Oh, goodbye. Wait, I go into Steam. I oh, know YouTube. There we go. Where's the live stream end button? Here it is. Wabam. End live stream.